Finally, I hit it big. Now I can sell my house and buy my dream home. Bruno, you know the next step? Any sane person would call Einbinder to Home Finder. That is correct. When you need to buy or sell a home, what do you do? You call Einbinder the Home Finder. My name is Damien Einbinder. If you need to buy or sell real estate in Las Vegas, call me today. That, that is, is your, your best, best bet. Einbinder the Home Finder. Dude, Tony the Tiger. You know how they say it, Tony the Tiger that he was the one and only Tiger. What, who has ever yeah, said he that he's no. the Why would only they? Nick was singing the song. The song. He went Why would one they... and only Tiger with the one and only taste. It's not true. Hey, like, Amen. Way more. Hey, Amen. I think you're. I really like the cringe. way you taste. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you taste good. That's weird. Dude. You're, you're taste, yummy. You're a tasty little. Tiger. Speaking of how I taste, this is the bottle I peed in last week. <laughs> no, <laughs> you wash it out like a good Take boy. Take a sip. Sip it. Get a sip going. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. how hydrated hey, he is. He just goes again. Give me one. Give me one. Fucking. You know puff, what's funny? Puff, puff, that's pass. about the. That's mm. about the color of oh, yeah. the pee. To be anyone, honest, anyone want a sip? No, I don't. Really? I want to. I want you guys to know that the last time I got a blood test about eight months ago, the doctor said you have some of the best functioning kidneys I have ever seen. Really? Yes. One time I got an ultrasound on my bank. heart, and she said you have the arch of the weak. What? Wait, have, what? It's like have, a, like like a soul heart, caliber your line. Your heart arch? Yeah. Arch of the week. <laughs> uh, and she just complimented it. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, my heart is very attractive. But then I was like, the week? <laughs> Wait, is it yeah. a compliment? No, it sounds like an insult. No, it was the yeah, best arch she's seen. She like pulled up your heart? Week. Oh, of the week. Oh, yeah, oh, of the, yeah. of the day. Not, not that the he's a span. week. The Dude, I thought, person, if you will. I thought she pulled up the heart. She's like, I oh, know what you meant. It's content brain it's versus so nerd brain. It, is, it is shitty of her to say that if she's had like three patients that week. That's what I'm saying. So <laughs> go fuck yourself. She gave you a little gold star. <laughs> Lady. Yeah. Heart of the week, Sonny. <laughs> yeah. It's such a good heart. Welcome to the yard, by the way. Hey, welcome, welcome back. Yeah. You might be wondering what you just watched earlier before we started. That's actually a, a real estate commercial that my dad was in because he knew a guy who like sold real estate. He's actually my age. And uh, and they shot a commercial, which we didn't even know about. Actually, sent it to the to the group chat uh, when I was with him. But yeah, he unfortunately died. That's no that's no meme. He's dead. Uh, and I wrote about it. If you guys want to want to check it out, it's uh, I'll put it in the description for the video. And uh, yeah, thanks for letting him uh, make you laugh through me. You sent you sent me that video, and as two people who speak about our dads so frequently and compare them and tell stories, I I watched it and I was just like, dude, oh my god, it, it's cr it's, it's so, so it's so beautiful. When he mouths all the words, yeah, yeah. that yeah. part is so funny. The un <laughs> the unfortunate part of that commercial is that the guy who's doing it with your dad, presumably the guy who owns the business. Yeah, is, it's just not good. He, you know, he has different skill set. You know, he's, <laughs> he's not a. Yeah, he's there for flipping houses. All right, he's, let's. It, he's there for flipping. Cut him some slack. The guy is like my age. It's really weird. That, that's crazy because I talked to him. I was like, he looks forty. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> he's a nice guy. But I thought <laughs> I was like, he's like, yeah, I met your dad when I was eighteen, and he was like, you know, showing me some stuff, and then like ten years later, they're just playing poker together, and he's a real estate agent. He's like, hey, you want to be in a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yeah, and that's how I it can goes. only imagine it comes from the same place. Your brain is when we're like, yo, we should get Coney in a, in a commercial. Like we should like throw one of the homies in a yeah, commercial. Yeah, yeah. Coney, <laughs> Coney 20XX, by the way. Oh yeah, not not 2012. Not 20 <laughs> <laughs> different <laughs> or, or not 20, well, 22. I, not Ugandan warlord. It would be hype if you threw him in though for a spot. <laughs> no, well, it's I was so all funny, saying you're Smash Coney. You're, Sorry, uh, yeah, I, I, that's who I thought. Yeah, that's I, what it, I was talking And about. now it's I'm imagining Smash Coney as the guy that we need to take down. <laughs> or the guy who jerked <laughs> off in public after trying to take Coney down. <laughs> that's, uh, he, what if it's both? Mm. Hey, let's just, let's just hey, throw all of them in the cancel train. Two sides are both the same. Yeah. All sides the same. I they are see, all the same. I want to see Smash Coney recreate one of Coney 20XX's songs. Uh, uh, fucking eyes red. Yeah, eyes red. I want so Smash hot. Coney to do eyes this red. This is the level of idea people comment at BTS sketches. Like, dude, they should do Coney twenty twenty two, and it's Coney yeah. from Smash <laughs> Ultimate. Oh, the Ken Chen. Yeah, that'd actually be pretty funny. I will say <laughs> that's a good idea. Oh, so you want to hear something about Ken Chen? Yeah. <laughs> this this blew my mind. What happened? So you guys uh, will hear No Grace, who you all worked with. Yes. From BTS, she now works at Hundred Thieves. And I did a shoot at 100 Thieves for Jay Shalette on Friday. Yeah. And uh, and we're talking, and I'm in a group, and it's like me, Grace, uh, and, and someone else. 
Um, and then she talks about how she has a list of the top 10 funniest people. She has a PR. Yeah, yeah. she keeps a PR, yeah. What? She has a PR. I didn't know about this. Public and, PR. And she would she would Public? use it as like social equity. Like mm -hmm. She would go to you and she'd be like, oh, that's a few points down on the PR. Yeah. And you'd be kind of like, oh. What? Oh no! I, You're thinking about like, well, what, what can I do like next? You're like trying time? to impress this coworker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she, she she brings up this PR. She talks about how slime you would go up to her and you'd like run a bit and like stand there and like wait for a response. I don't know if this is true. I don't know. That's kind of how she phrased it. And uh, and anyway, I'm 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 talking through it, and she's like, I'm like, ah, I feel like you have a fuck sense of humor, so I feel like your PR is all whack. She's like, no, it's great. And uh, and I'm like, okay, wh where would you rank someone like Ken Chen? And she's like, oh, he's the funniest. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, that's throw really out the funny. whole PR, that's really throw funny. out the whole oh, thing. That's really you funny. open her that's iPod, so it's right. just like all Weird Al Yankovic songs. Yeah. <laughs> it's fluffy. Look, they lemons. replaced the words. <laughs> <laughs> that that one clip of Ken, uh, the ESL one, was a hit with the Discord. Ken, We're talking look, about that for Ken, a while. Ken Chen, by the way, if you guys don't know, is hot bid esports hot bid. He's like. Probably the most funny boomer of esports that exists. He was he was funny in esports before it like was all the thing. To be clear, I said he should be eight nine, like a sleeper. Yeah, he sh yeah he should be like oh fuck, I gotta play Ken. He's not top billing. <laughs> yeah. It's his consistency that's the issue. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ken's my second seed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. at the arcade? Yeah. yeah. One one of Ken's like famed bits was like messaging. He messaged me and he did this to a few people. Oh my god, oh, dude, this I is so hate stupid. this bit, dude. I hate this bit. But he sends this whole paragraph about how he's created this Discord for like his very close friends, and if <laughs> if and if you're cool, like he really wants to add you to. It so you can spend more time like outside of work together and you're like cool and so you say yes to it and then he invites you to a discord server with only you and an account called joe biden <laughs> with the with, headshot with of joe, joe biden. biden's profile picture and him it's just Dude. you three and then he's he, and moving then, up fast and then in general it's just ken saying hey and no one else has said anything yet. dude uh, it, it was so <laughs> stupid because he did it to me and i was like Dude, I, I, I want to see what, because I, I remember, I might have said something where he asked me if I wanted to join, and I was just like, no. And then, it like, you know, as a joke, yeah, yeah. right? And then the whole bit, like, grinds to a halt. But, yeah, he, he would do that shit. He would, in the office, Ken Chen would sit there, and while we were supposed to be, like, planning events, you know, using our time wisely, he would be trying really hard and pitching me fake Am I the Asshole posts to post on Reddit. Fake ones? Yeah. yeah. And so he would pitch So he it. could get karma? He, he was just yeah. trying to get to the top mm. by creating a story rather than yeah. like, and he would just pitch it. And he's like, so, okay, what do you think of this one? And I'm like, uh. <laughs> That's like a, a, a little psychopathic. Because you have to think like a psychopath to be the asshole That's been that happening you write for, about. That's been happening since the beginning of so time. Do you guys remember the app FML? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. like when the iPhone came out, FML very quickly came out and it was the same thing as Am I the Asshole, but kind of like oh, yeah. mostly bullshit happening to you. Yeah. It was so obviously all like most of them are fake. That's a lot of Reddit. Yeah. And it's they pop off on TikTok. It'll just be like the posts and then read out by like Brian text to speech. It'd be like, you know, am I the asshole? Or like what's a secret you could never tell anyone? Yeah, oh god. Yeah. Hey, what's this unpopular what's opinion that got you like this? And then it's a bunch of people holding knives at you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah. Go fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> And then, because those threads on Reddit back then were always to just quietly be like, you know what, I think black people just commit a lot of crime. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. know, that was they literally were, they it. Were like it was that, literally yeah. just like people being like, hey, I'm just saying. And it's like, oh, you just want to be racist. Couple, <laughs> couple things. Not all cops are heroes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, I, I'm just, and that, let's look at the crime charts. <laughs> this segment going to bode terribly for the, the new Yard Out of Context Twitter that popped up recently. Oh, I saw oh, that. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> this, yeah, out of this Context Twitters gonna, are so dead. Pay, are yeah, they yeah, dead? It, what happened to yours? Oh, it, it, it was four years ago. It popped off. Though. I remember it that. Did. I enjoyed those posts. It, Ludwig Out of Context was a the big poster, vehicle of the growth. The poster has to also be funny. You can because you can uh, take because yeah. you can take out of context bits that are just like, and when you take them out of the context, they're not funny. They were originally funny, and then you just take a bit and you've made it not funny somehow. It is a it is a like a what do you call it a parasitic effect, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. like the if the cow's dead, the little birds aren't gonna also be funnier than the. Cow. These are accounts, by the way, that take segments of something like you say something, they take out the context, and it just it's just left with you saying fucking. I'm not gonna. It's gonna happen to me. No, no, no. Out. Like, Eamon's penis looks like a bird's. Though that's in context. It no. <laughs> well, to them, it'll seem out of context. Yeah, out of it context, doesn't matter. Out of context yard, but it's just Eamon. <laughs> 
out of context <laughs> Eamon and it's just only times yeah. that he's like <laughs> and it's like I fucking yeah. hate Saikuno <laughs> <laughs> he's like changing outfits <laughs> in the cut it's Slime's voice over like him just talking <laughs> someone just fucking hates you so dubbing Slime's voice over mine would be sick yeah. we, we were talking earlier about how like what you guys were saying like, oh, we do an episode, but it's just the Amen episode. Yeah, the Amen yeah. special. I was, I was downstairs. I was joking. I was like, actually, you guys could stay down here. This week's the Amen app. Mm, I'm just gonna do it by myself. Aided. And then I, I was like, we could script and time this out where I make an entire conversation between four me's, sit and record ninety minutes in each chair, and yeah. then just just you know mask it over yeah. and create create a podcast like it's those just Joe all Amen all the time. Those yeah, when Joe Rogan talks to himself. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just Eamon, but four. Who, who do you yeah. think functions the best? And if we had to send one of us up to do the full thing, who do we send? Ludwig, this is obvious. Probably. Like Ludwig. Ludwig I get, just. Who, why is it obvious? Stamina. Stamina is the only reason. Me knocking it out of the park. Oh, me, actually, me in the outfield. Actually, oh, over the fence. Oh, he grabs it. He, oh, he grabs the ball. Nick, oh, his nipples are out. His nipples, nipples are out. They're, oh, they're getting nipples longer are, by the second. Dude, <laughs> dude like Pinocchio, he lied, but his nipples are in the, the nose and said, oh, he's so beautiful. It's four Nicks, and it's just like, it's like, you know, Jack Manifold, and then one Nick's like, man, I fold, and then another Nick's yeah. like, yeah, but I'd be jacking, man. Yeah, and if they just keep doing that forever, <laughs> it's like a loop of and just like, bastardizing. Each, each bastardized joke gets further away, so you can keep making new ones yeah. off the other, and that's that's there's right, your ninety minutes of content right there. Yeah, <laughs> that's just how rap yeah. works. That's just Kingdom Hearts chain of memories. <laughs> you do that, and that's your EP, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I think that you would succeed. Um, uh, dude, I had something. When we were talking about your <laughs> growing, elongating nipples, it, it left my, my body in my You were mind. on nipples for a bit? Speaking of elongated, I, I sent Anthony a, uh, a photo <laughs> yesterday. Uh, I, <laughs> he sent you too? You look like no, you saw no, it. I always sent it to Anthony. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was special. And uh, <laughs> I, sent, I sent Anthony a message yesterday. And I'm like, hey, I know you usually don't care about this kind of stuff, but I bought a new pair of shoes. <laughs> and I think you'd be into them. And he knows I'm not gonna send him shoes like instantly. He's yeah. just like, what is it? Is it you're gonna send me fucking whatever? And I just sent him, <laughs> I sent him a picture in the bathroom in the complete dark with a, <laughs> my poop in the toilet, <laughs> and it's like a particularly weird one where it's like very long but Dude. comes to a perfect point. Dude, it looks like a like a giant's tooth. <laughs> Can I see this? <laughs> and in the photo are my shoes, uh, but I forgot they were reflective. So I ri- <laughs> I originally. Wanted to take the photo just to show <laughs> Anthony, but my shoes like lit up and like reflected all cool. It's like Prezzo's profile picture. Yeah, it looks like Prezzo's profile picture. <laughs> like the deer? Picture. Yeah. yeah. And so it's I just said it to poop. him and I was like, Check Let me see your out. shit. Yeah. You want to see I can the poop. Let me see now. your, let me see your poop. A puff puff pass, bro. Our finally, our second poop NFT. <laughs> You Did know, your shit it's, not, it's not an impressive Someone one. Someone bid on it and then he didn't like click enough buttons to care. And then, like, I lost like $200 because I minted it like the wrong way first. <laughs> and then, like, I had to do it again. And it was like, it was a pain in the ass. Okay, so. I got to tell you a little bit about <laughs> Dude, crypto after this. This looks shit. like. It's so, so weird. So it's like Game of <laughs> what Thrones. What are you going to tell him, man? What are you going to tell him? This it's... is this is Viseron's. Wow. <laughs> it's just a weird Dude, one. Dude, it looks like a dagger. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't like even look, look like. Poop. I don't like. I know. I don't it, like it, it looks like Cthulhu's tentacle, <sighs> and he's like in there. I'm thinking of the poop one. This is the cover. <laughs> this is the cover of a goosebump. Oh, that looks book. like that Never looks seen. like the snake in the airplane bathroom that bites oh, a guy on guys, snakes in a plane. Let's talk about something else, fellas. <laughs> you, want, you want one of those guys? No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I was just poop. The poop water makes me gag. You don't like it? I don't like. Is poop that your water. Achilles heel? Poop water? I think you could. I think you could. Don't do that. Oh, no. Dude, no, I'm do gonna that. gag. I'm gonna gag. No, really? I'm thinking about poop. Ba- I'm thinking poop about poop. I gotta oh, stop thinking about poop. Poop. Uh, poop. Uh, poop water. Uh, I will fucking cabinets leave. and baseball. Let's think about something wholesome. Crypto. Let's talk about crypto, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's talk so, about crypto. Dude, by the way, you're so stupid. Dude. No. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, wait, what happened? I, dude, I'm fucking going through. Uh, we overdrew <laughs> on our business account, so I had to like move some money around. And uh, this is like this big tax pay. It's actually my fault. There's this pa- tax payment that I forgot about. Came through. We overdrew. Like, fuck. So I had to repop to get some <laughs> money in. And then I look at Ludwig's personal checking account. And he's has, like, a way lower amount of money than he should. Uh. Because I'm the one that, like, dumps the money in, like, his, like his rich grandfather. Yeah. You know, I click the button, even though it's his money. I click <laughs> the button and I say, here you go, kiddo. Thanks for the allowance, daddy. <laughs> and it's like, you know, 100 grand or something. And he's got way less than he should. And I'm like, what the fuck did he do? And I look, and it's just 
Coinbase minus 15K. Coinbase minus 10K Bro. yesterday. Bro, what? Okay, he I bought. Called, I he called him out the for dip. this this morning. You bought the he dip, did, bro. He didn't know that I knew about this, dude. Yeah, so wait, he's sitting. He's sitting, <laughs> he's sitting we're in the office. He's sitting complaining about crypto again or something, and I just bring it up. He's like, "Heard you bought twenty five k yesterday." Oh, like, you oh. said. <laughs> heard you bought. I was like, "How the fuck do you know that?" Because I had enough money. I, I'm not like on. You yeah, know, you're because he's yeah. always grilling me for how he. Oh, oh I'm. I'm you fucked you me, Amen. You fuck me. You fucked me, Amen. Okay. No, you're. So Still up, dude. Every time you say that to me, you are still up. Here's what happened: we had a we had a shoot in like downtown LA, and it's like an hour drive. And uh, in uh, on the way, I I find this video on YouTube. It's been recommended to me for like a week or uh, a few days. It's called like the problem with NFTs. Oh yeah, that I video. Wa I watched this. Mm -hmm. That video is so good. Two and a half hour video. Oh my god. So I sit down and I watch this video. You should watch it at home. It, it explains everything if it's you're the, at any level of intelligence. Is it the Disney Fast Pass video of yes. The NFTs? Yes. No, but it's, it's even the big better. short of NFTs. Yeah. It actually <laughs> okay. is actually. the big short. Except there's <laughs> okay. no yeah. Margot Robbie or B a Bathtub. It's like it's the big wow. short kept going. I, I was going to say Selena Gomez NFTs. narrates the whole thing, but you spoiled that now. Yeah. My bad. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm like watching this video and I'm like, damn, like crypto in... And NFTs, like, these are so problematic. And then I get home, and then I looked at my crypto wallet, and I'm like, oh, Pog. And uh, <laughs> I go to bed. I wake up. That morning I wake up is the crypto crash. Yeah. Everything's down. How down is it? It's, it's... down, like, maybe 40%. Oh, my yeah. God. Big time down, right? And then I'm like, <laughs> after watching this video, I'm like, buy the dip, though. Archie, Archie bleep this out. Uh, two months ago, I... I had like in crypto and right now I crypto. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Shit. so I'm like so I'm like buy the dip. Buy the dip. And and then I I buy the dip. I wake up the next day, drops another 15%. And then I'm like, why did I absorb literally nothing from the video that I watched? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, All it's stupid speculative it's, assets. It's, you're a gambler. Yeah, I was going to say, the old video that you... You know, I still quote it the way you say it in the video with Duke Vitro where you mm. fucking bet on the timer because I love gambling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it runs through my mind all the time. I do love gambling. You do, but you're also... You also are a baby boy, pussy boy. I am. Pussy. I am a pussy boy. If I go to a casino and I have even $1,000, I still sweat a lot. You do sweat. I wonder why. I wouldn't go above that. Why does that happen to you? I lose a thousand dollars and I'm like, it's like I'm Superman and a bullet hit my fucking chest, bounced off. <laughs> if it's digital, it doesn't matter to me. But if it's physical, I don't know. I feel like actually departing with the cash. I Dude, hurts. Once you. the once the floor turns into the weird casino carpet texture, Anthony turns into a beast. I lo I love being Dude, with you. Dude, me and Miles we, after we busted out at poker. Well, I I I busted out. He was up, and I'm like, okay, it's time to play blackjack now. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Because I had the last time I went to Vegas, I like I was I got up a lot of money and so i'm walking around in my bag with like 15 and i'm like and it's still i didn't put it back in my account because i'm like i'm gonna go to vegas again mm -hmm. and i'm gonna want to play with this and whatever so i go and uh, we play poker and like poker session ends this dealer was like really mean to miles it was really crazy and uh he's like yeah it just kind of like ruined my vibe and uh and then so i'm like all right let's go hit blackjack uh and i just lose it all and he's just watching it happen and he's like Big guy, give me a big guy. Oh, dude. And I'm like, because we need a big guy. And then it's like, okay, sh that's a ten showing a ten. It's like, okay, we need a little guy. <laughs> and Miles then, is like the best guy to be with in that situation. He's like your cheerleader, and the guys never came that I needed. Yeah. But, but what I was gonna say before that is like, I was like, okay, I'll uh, I'll, I'll borrow you money. How much you want to play with? Because it was like a two five game, so like a thousand dollar buy in. And he's like, I don't know, like six. And I'm like, okay. And I start counting out six grand. He's like, no, I meant six <laughs> hundred. Yeah. And he's like. I like that you just went for it though. Yeah, and I was yeah. just like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so that's like, but, but that all happened, and and I went through my usual. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna gamble for the rest of the year. Mm. And You're I, at that point, and I might not. But I usually say that any time that happens. <laughs> it yeah. was January. He, you yeah. went on a hero run when we went last time. Oof. I couldn't believe it. I came back like fucking. We had to catch the plane. Uh, an, an I have my I have my uh, <laughs> gong gong hat. An important mm. thing to keep in you mind, by the way. Hat? Is that Anthony has always been like this? This isn't like a podcast got successful and now he's yeah. ripping. Yeah, he's ripping 10k at the table. It it has been like this always. No, I remember and, sitting in the uh, the Paris casino with you. Yeah, and and uh, we were like talking because you're down like pretty bad that that trip. And I was like, 
how bad is it this how, year? How bad lifetime? And you're like, you can't tell anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that. I prefaced it. And I was like, oof, oof. <laughs> Looking at the blue ceiling. Like, it this sucks. guy's down bad. Yeah. Like, the, the beauty of being with Miles in that spot is because, like, you'll get absolutely fucked for, like, half your savings. And he'll look over and be like, it's always you and me, man. And, <laughs> and, then, and, and then, like, you'll go and, and he'll just be like, all right, let's just get pizza and do whatever else. Yeah. And you just forget about it instantly. Yeah. He's, he's a great person to go with. What were we going to say? I was going to say when the last time we were there, it was the because you had gone down like big time. I, I think you you were down like twelve thousand dollars. Big time. And <laughs> in the morning, we wake we wake up for a flight to leave and you're not there. And it's like four thirty five in the morning. And we're wondering like where you are because we need you to go to the airport. And uh, we're packing everything up. We have everything together. You're still you're still not there. And we're like. We just got to go and text him and, and hopefully he meets up with us like uh, because we have your stuff, too. So you can like come straight to us and we, you know, close the hotel door and running down the hallway comes Anthony in his gone gone hat <laughs> and fifteen thousand dollars in Dude. cash. And he's like, I ran it all back. I ran it all Dude. back. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be he, so happy. he went on a like an hour and a half run at <laughs> Before our flight at six in the morning to it, get it all back and more, uh, and then and, and then fucking super monkey ball, and, the, and then they get it back. They always just get it back because I just came back a couple. They months do, later. Yeah, yeah. They eventually Dude, get it. And that, they, that was the beautiful part of Evo is like it's the only tournament, despite being the worst tournament of all time as a player. It was the only tournament where you could get your your fucking hopes and dreams destroyed in the bracket, like every major, and then instantly get a second shot. By going to the casino and seeing if you can make a profit. Yeah. Because <laughs> you get a second shot, and if you lose in the casino, it doesn't really make you feel worse than losing to a peach in bracket. It's kind of the same. But if you win, oh, man, it erases the tournament. You know what's funny, though? I've never won. No, that's not true. Me and Miles. You Remember won. when you lost the, the Reed's money? Yeah. That was, the, that was a, a sad time because I was up a bunch, and you weren't, and uh, you were like, Dude, it was so funny. We had the Black Jay Toe. You remember this? It was a long time ago. I had the, uh, the Reeds was a show with Scar and Tof, and I ran that bitch. You, like, I did everything. Yeah. I was the slime for the show, and I had a debit card, and, it, and, and I, I... You know. I pulled out $1,000 oh from God. the Reeds bank account, a show that I managed, but had no part in producing the content for. It'd be like slime pulling out $1,000 of my money from mogul <laughs> money. Just to gamble. To gamble with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna put it back because I'm gonna win. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> that's actually it's where so my mind is at. Is like, so I'm gonna long. win and put this back, dude. That is so. It, yeah, I, I remember the Evo trip where you and Miles were out gambling really late, and we we're on the same Airbnb. But I was like really worried because I didn't know he was with you. But Miles never has a phone when he's in America, so like I'm kind of his like chaperone in many ways, more back then than now. And uh, and he hasn't responded to me or like I haven't seen him in forever. It's 6 a.m. at this point. And I'm like worried. I'm like, it's like it was like one of the first times I ever had to like really worry about a friend, not know if they're okay. And then he comes home at six a.m. He walks in. He's like kind of drunk, and he's laughing. And he, he gets into bed laughing, and he falls asleep, still chuckling to himself, <laughs> like every like five minutes or so. And in my head, I'm like, he went down so much. <laughs> like, he I'm became like, the joke. I'm like, he has to be down so much money if he is just like laughing we would get so mad to the point where it's funny because yeah. he's like i'm that's so that's fucked. what that's what he kept doing when i lost like all that money at the at the blackjack <laughs> table he's <was> like <laughs> and i was like yeah <laughs> like i get it but yeah that night he actually was hammered before he came home but he also was not down because we ran up 20 dollars to like 800 it was, oh what? It was really yeah. he's up so much oh that wasn't the next yeah. day. Yeah. that was the funny part but yeah it was because i was on a blackjack table and it was that same 20 we were trying to run up and i just kept getting insanely lucky and i was like dumbfounded and i, I didn't it wasn't right it didn't feel right and ludwig's all the way on the other side of the table it's a full table it's a couple strangers and he's like should be happy about it don't look so sad <laughs> and I was like, oh, Ludwig's oh. mad that he's not getting Be happy, bud. <laughs> Dude, <it was> so <laughs> Dude, the day that I think has really turned me off, like, in-person casino gambling, I went to Foxwoods. It was, like, uh, not too long ago with some friends from high school. It's a, a casino in Connecticut. And, uh, and, I, and I brought, like, maybe, like, 1500 And I think I'd started streaming, but I didn't have that much money at this point. Uh, and I, and I lose it. more than you bring now. Say it again? That's more than you bring now. No, it is. <laughs> what the fuck? I brought a lot. I don't know why. I just thought East Coast I'd have better luck. I lose it all. All right. I cash out like another 500 or something. 
lose that all. Eventually, at the end of the night, I think I'm down like two, three thousand dollars, which is like like most of the money I would earn in a month. And uh, <laughs> and I go back to the hotel room at like four a.m. Everyone's already asleep. I'm sad, and uh, and I called my ex. Because I was just sad. I wasn't drunk. Aww. I was just sad. <laughs> You're like, hey. It's seven. It's like it's like 4 a.m. where she's at. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I want to hear your voice. Oh, <laughs> dude. You know what's funny? Uh -huh. I did the same thing. Yeah? Yeah. I hey. The same fucking Me and thing. you, baby. It, you're just like I need to talk to somebody. I need I'm I need so joy. Sad. I need something that gives me pleasure. I, I I need I need a hug. It's like when your sim has lost all of its stats and it's just like Ooh. a wallowing mess yeah. <laughs> and it can't function and Dude, so it needed some contact. Everyone's down. It, that that train clip. Every time he gets a hit and he plays it, he's like, "I am fucking down millions." And he's like, "Don't gamble." It's true. It's literally true. Yeah. So many people are not up. I'm the only person who is up. Yeah, because you keep a fucking spreadsheet and you yeah, once asked Kalindi to get your you quarter from him oh, that he owed you. He, didn't he do less than that? Didn't you ask well, for there was two different times? You, tell us the <laughs> ma as the magi one, right? By all means, please. No, take well, the there was one time. <laughs> there was one time where I. You know what? Magi might have been banking both times this happened actually. One time I didn't get my quarter, and one time I didn't get twelve cents. And the only reason I cared about it, dude, that the is... only reason I cared about it is because I kept a spreadsheet of all my losses and winnings on poker for the entire time that I. Played. I don't think you're selling this enough. We did poker games at Smash Summits where everyone would buy in for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, that was the start, and that was like the start of it. And then mm -hmm. that transitioned into like some online games that would the same group. Yeah, would play, basically like, like melee. Players. There was these subgroups of melee players who got into poker all around the same time and would play together. Like there was basically a group you could play with every night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I for for probably about a year or so. And uh, I would play poker every night with like the same group of people. And that it was probably my first introduction of like. Honestly, the first time I spent more significant amount of time like talking to you because it was the summer before I moved in with you guys. Yeah. And like you would be in the games pretty often. You'd be in the games sometimes. And that was when, by the way, Mike Hayes, who was like talking some shit on Twitter about SFAT recently. Yeah. It was funny because Mike actually, I, dude, I made him cry that one night. You what? That? Oh, that was I remember sad. This. No, yeah. it was, well, I was mad because it was way before that. Mike Hayes had a. Uh, he would go because we, we had an honor system because sometimes of some of us would stream. I would stream. Mango would stream. We're playing live games with no delay amongst friends. Of yeah. poker. And yeah. poker. Yeah. And so you just don't look at the other person's stream. It's just wrong. But Mike, he wanted to look up what Mango had after the hand because he folded. And then so he said that and he was like, I checked. And we were all like, what the fuck? And we all chastised him right there. Live. Yeah, because like, that changes the course of the game. Having that information is that, still yeah, yeah. cheating. It's, yeah, and, and it's like it, it's also like you, you're you someone who would do that. So it's like, what won't you do? We also used to joke that he would cheat, and this was like the smoking gun. Oh, well, God. Well, because you got, you, got, uh, you got tilted that that day because he called me Th out. This is way later. So yeah. <laughs> when he says that day. I was day, there for this. When he says that day, it means way later. Yeah. And Eamon plays poker like he plays Sheik. Yep. You know, like a nit, mm -hmm. right? He just, you know, he waits for his premium hands. He mm -hmm. waits for someone to run into him. Mm -hmm. He forward tilts, and then he does his thing. Mm -hmm. Works great, And that's by the okay, way. because that's how you beat people it who does work well. like to play wide ranges. And uh, and Mike got so mad at you because you won, right? Yeah, what I won. He, yeah. I won big. Uh, I won, like, two hands in a row, and I was like, okay, that's enough for tonight. Like, I wanted to walk. Yeah, and you then, hit and run and played like a pussy. You are not fun to be at the poker table, but you are a winning player. I am a winning player, and that's Tightly. all that counts. I'm up like 150. It's actually all just time. like melee. It's yeah. like yeah, I was. It was really cool. I went for a combo, Wait, but I died. 150 dollars. Yeah, that's you're up. That's well, great in, in poker. Yeah, yeah, all time. That's winning player. Hey, 150 bucks. Yeah. With with only what forty hours of work One, in two NL. What the <laughs> fuck? It's like I'm I'm like it, it, the the sheet's really funny because I'm like three k in all time like three. 3.15k out all time. Like, <laughs> anyway, Mike Hayes, he's uh he was pissed at you because you hit and run, yeah. and then he he was like, I'm ne I never want to play with you again, which was uh I was so I I heard him say that, and I was so mad. It's like when someone else picks on your little brother, and I and I went over <laughs> to the laptop where Aiden was playing on, and I said, Are you? 
excuse me, Mike, are you fucking kidding me? You're going to talk to him like that? And I was like, well, you, you, you're you like someone who goes and like looks at other people's hands. Like, what the fuck is your problem? I was really A mad. level of yeah. vitriol only slime could uh, could throw out. I was, it was crazy. I it was, wasn't fair. I was just like your five-year-old. And, five and I was behind slime. I was and your five-year-old like, yeah. son <laughs> sitting there at just like, Oh, and, and then dad's, like, and, dad's fighting. And then I went to the gym. Like I, that, that was where uh, we were going. I think we went to go work out, and that's why I was out the door. And Mike messaged me. He's like, "Dude, that really hurt me, and I'm sorry." And I was like, "I've been crying," and I'm like, "Holy shit, I'm sorry." Like, fuck. And we and then you to, sent like, them a video back of you benching <laughs> his weight. Yeah, well, I just pr so whatever. Yeah, he's, and it's like we had to we had to kind of hug it out in DMs because I did feel bad. It's like oh, sh- I, I don't want to make him feel like that, but I was mad just being mad. Mm-hmm. So. I think it's kind of cool that he was one of the people within that group that like really stuck with it though, because he plays like almost full time now and he's like a winning player. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, he I became really a winning it. player only for a little bit because I would I was running illegal online rings. Yeah, the Facebook. Group. I don't know. Have I ever told you boys about this? Tell me about that. Well, you were me, taking uh, not me. you were taking cuts, so it, it's not a. It was tight. Ludwig's game. I don't know about Ludwig's. I game. did Ludwig's game. Ludwig, no. Ludwig Chastain and your and your ginger pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little. I did a little Ludwig's game, and I and I would I would hoe around. I'd get some drinks for these guys, these fellas. I'd make them feel good. Uh, in college, I started doing online poker because my friend's dad. We'd play poker at his house, and he's like, "Hey, if you want to play poker, I do an online game with some friends of mine at work." Is this like Facebook Marketplace poker? It's no. It's it's literally using fake online poker chips. Uh, hmm. But then, like, we correlate them to actual dollar amounts. And, like, I see, I see. The same Send way we did money. with the Smash guys, but it was strangers. Yeah, gotcha. Right. So this would allegedly happen. And uh, and I was playing, and there was, like, a little bit of a rake on every table. Uh, it was something, like, I think 5%, 10%. Uh, and it was always, like, a tournament. Per so you, hand? No, no, no. It was a tournament. So oh, you enter for, okay, like, 20 yeah. bucks, but then the entry would be $22, and that extra $2 goes to the actual event. And they'd, like, try to throw some of it back by doing larger free events. Anyway, after a few months of doing this, I go down $2,500, which is about all the money I saved up working at Apple because uh, I, was, I was an Apple employee at the time. And I'm like, damn, that blows. But I was very active. And one of the problems was the people running it were specifically tax attorneys. And it was getting to April. And, oh, my. And they were like, we don't have the time to run games. Oh. They hit me up. Would you run a game? And I'm like, yeah, I'll run a game. We basically work at this arrangement where they'll give me 15% of the overall rake for the entire site. <laughs> and then I also get to enter one free game a week. And that was the real kicker. Yeah. I got to set up the games and I got one free game. So I'd set up like, you know, $22 games, $30 games. But every Sunday, the big one. $150 entry, and everyone was hype on it. This everyone actually, had entered. This actually is the movie. You're Molly. Yeah, you're so, Molly. And, you're and Toby sweet. McGuire also went to these games. Yeah. That's right. And so I'm not only am I Molly, I'm also Toby. <laughs> <laughs> You're Molly and Toby, sixty nineing each other. Yeah, uh, and at I'm, once. And I'm in the in the, in the free one hundred fifty dollar event. <laughs> I, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> sixty nineing myself. No, keep going. And uh, and and I and I started to win a lot of money. Like I was starting to make like you know a, a couple thousand, a few thousand. I think my peak was like five thousand dollars in a month just from doing this online poker. Because I'd have the free event and then also the rake for all the events I would run. Uh, and eventually it kind of fizzled out because uh, it was getting to the end of senior year. Um, and I was like applying for jobs and I, and I was in the process of moving. So I just didn't do it for a few weeks. Uh, but, I, but I realized on hindsight how fucking illegal it was. <laughs> allegedly, yeah, yeah. Allegedly, if you actually did this. Yeah. Buddy. I'd be in trouble. This You'd was, be in trouble. With that, the law. And if this was actually something that happened... Uh oh! I tell you what, I love making shit up. I love. I also, it. I also like doing and selling heroin. Yeah, I'm gonna and I saw, more crimes. And I killed a guy. It's just being a storyteller is what I'm here for. There's a head in that mm-hmm. b- that thing. Mm-hmm. There that, is that barbecue. There is of yeah. a guy mm-hmm. and a and a dick and ball. Yeah, and anyway. his own dick and ball. Hello, patrons. Yo, We're what's here. up? From the future, Hi. from the past. Hey, well, you said patrons. Well, I was talking to the patrons. The other people are also watching Peanut Gallery. What is a what is a patron but a person that is in the, the giving us money? Get to the money topic. Okay, the topic. here's the thing, fellas. <laughs> if you look at Nick's hot tight bod, you might notice his top half has yard merch on. And you also might notice his nipples are growing longer and longer and longer. That's right. He does need a haircut, and we are selling merch. Aww. You can get it at our our merch website. It'll be available February sixth. However, if you're a tier three or four patron. 
You guys get it early. That's a bonus that we threw in. So and a thanks discount. For, thanks for being a big you, Patreon. You get first crack at it, like we all got first crack at Aiden's pussy when he moved. And it's twenty. <laughs> and it's twenty five percent off. And Aiden's pussy does not come guaranteed, but maybe one person could get it. But one of you will win. <laughs> it's a sweepstakes. It's the uh, winning not. contest for if winners. If you send in all the box tops you have in your pantry, you have a chance to win. Anyway, I saw that pussy. really sad, sad, pathetic uh. person make their own yarn merch. Yeah, it yeah. Was Why was it pathetic? Because it was just like the screen print. You know what? You know what? Funny. I it was you know cool. what? We should send her free merch. Let's, I thought let's it was fucking cool. end her I'm misery. Down. Yeah. Uh, sure. But this is real she merch. She called us out. She was like, "What? Are you, uh, we did. You're it. not gonna make it. I saw you. No, no, no. She's cap. You know what? I saw her double tweet. No, yeah, because she posted. I saw her double tweet. She got no traction, and then she posted it again. And you know what? I respect the Russell. Anyway, back to the fucking episode. This is an ad read, guys. Yeah, we're doing an ad read now. We're just talking. Wait, wait. To to make sure you know that time has passed, Ludwig will take off his shirt. Shirt, and then it'll pop back on. Yeah, go ahead, Ludwig. Take us away. Okay, um, yeah, get that shirt, shirt off. It's a low number of units, pop so just so you guys know, pop that fucking shirt I think it's off. It's about baby like a couple boy. thousand. These are gonna sell out. They're gonna sell out. They don't might. be sad. We'll probably make more. So like, he doesn't don't need Google. Don't like buy resale. Why versions. you hurry up? I want you to go faster. For and so that's hurry about faster it for us. Thanks for being patrons, guys, and thanks for buying nice. the if you did. Nice. Back to the episode. The day the day I stopped respecting Aiden as a gambler was the the Destiny fan thing. That that changed oh, that changed everything, oh, bro. Destiny fans, don't ever do this. By the way, it was the most utilitarian. The, shut the point fuck up, of all up. Time. This was eat shit. It was like, damn, we live with this guy. <laughs> Destiny fans, a, a tw Twitch monster person in the Smash community, um, notoriously has gone up a lot at Evo gambling. Um, but at main stage, there was games of poker happening, and Destiny's just walking around sweating random side bets on random shit all day. And he comes up to me and he's like, "You want to do a fifty dollar coin flip?" And I was, I think, I mean, maybe it was a hundred dollar coin flip. Bro. I think we ended up doing a hundred. I think I was like, let's do a hundred. He's like, yeah. So we do a hundred dollar coin flip oh, and uh, I win so fucked, and he's like, let me go again. I'm like, yeah, of course. And then uh, I'm like, we're going to call it. You always give the run back. Oh yeah. I'm like, always give always the give run, run back. back. Yeah. So always. I'm like, let's call it, let's call it at, unless if you hit, we'll do a best of three, but if not, let's call it. And so it goes, I win again. He pays me out immediately $200. Aiden sees this action and goes, let me get on this action. Flips the coin with Aiden, hits Aiden's side. Aiden goes, and then Destiny fan goes, let me go again. Aiden's like, no. No, I'm gonna walk away with a hundred dollars. I mean, it's and I'm like, like dude, so you're so the in, reason, in the moment. The in the moment, I'm like, this, you're so grimy. I, did this, I just lost a hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. Table. It doesn't <laughs> and matter. And I wanted why. to get my buy-in back, and I won, it and I got my hundred dollars, and I was like, okay. I'm back in. Oh, eat shit, Babe, dude. I only cheated on you because I wanted to squirt. <laughs> like, okay. It doesn't matter. So you just did the wrong this thing. This is one of those instances where yeah. I, this is not. It's hard to be on his side. That part, right? It's hard to be on his side because he <laughs> says things like that. <laughs> You'd be talking to Simon about something and like, like, we like universal health care. And he's like, yeah, we all sure should storm the Capitol to get it. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, bro. Oh, no, dude, you just, it, it, it's funny because it's like, that's what you do to someone you hate. You treat them like an ATM machine. Yeah. It's like if you don't like somebody, you say, yeah, see you later, pussy. One of my, <laughs> is that actually reminds me of one of my first one-on-one -on -one interactions with Slime was in the stands of, I can't remember if it was Big House or Genesis. I think it was Genesis. Uh, or maybe maybe it was, it might have been Big House 8. And we were sitting next to each other. It just kind of happened by circumstance because we like vaguely knew each other at the time. And I, I think I sat next to you. And then uh, you just looked at me and he was like, you want to put... You want to put fifty bucks on the game timer? I do. And I was like, that. "What do you mean?" And he was like, 50 bucks. It ends on odd. I win. Ends on even. You win." The AZ like, thing. We invented that. I was like, "Yeah, that's Duke it. Vitro." Right. And then we did it, and slime won. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yeah. I sent slime fifty bucks, and I left. It's the most degenerate <laughs> thing. Right. Is you just watch a game of melee, and none of the game matters. Yeah. You just stare at the <laughs> timer. Just wait, for bro. The star chaos. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I know exactly how long a star KO was because of that. Yeah. And me, you're just like me and Eric invented a, a horse racing game at Genesis where you go around to you ha so you have to agree that you only pick setups with two players who are in bracket neither of which you know who they are and you pick who your horse is and you cheer for them so you find random tournament sets and you just cheer for a guy you don't know and you both have money on the on the map. oh yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah, super yeah. fun you do this you have to know nobody that uh didn't you do that with like friendly sets too. Yeah, friendly you, sets made friendly it, like, are the fun ones. Was super when fun bracket was over, we would just go over to random friendlies. Yeah, there it, would yeah. be like no stakes on the set, and then all of a sudden you let these two people play in friendlies know <laughs> that like you got to do this, man. I got a hundred dollars <laughs> on you right now, like, and they're just like, what? what? <laughs> and you can see them literally start to fuck up tech. Like in friendlies, yeah. are like, oh my god, I they're not they don't benefit from the exchange. Yeah, it's so funny because they have yeah. nothing on the and line. They like, instantly go like, ah, you leave, and they're like, who are those guys? <laughs>
I'll never fucking forgive you. <laughs> we were talking. We were talking earlier about how if you uh, we should make a a movie where if if you play if you press start at the same time that you press start on Ram Ranch, that oh. it, that it syncs up. It, the, the music oh, syncs like, up with the like, movie. Like Dark Pink Side of the Floyd, Moon. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, yeah. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. But you want to do it with Ram Ranch? That's yeah. right. Like, All, all, all Ram of Ranch. them. Well, no, you do all of the Ram well, Ranches. Well, oh. you can't do it that long. I think you'd have yeah, to make it like does, a, It probably is like 10 hours. Seven movies. Of music. <laughs> but, but it'd be like, we were saying like, oh yeah, you start the social network and Ram Ranch at the same time. <laughs> but, <laughs> As soon as as soon as he makes Facebook, that's when they storm the fucking the U.S. Marines come. You, like, how does Ram that get 7? found out? Like, you'd have to hint it. You'd have to leak it. You just named the, the main character Grant. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Grant is eating a, at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, and you're just like, up. Yeah, <laughs> just a little teaser. Yeah, I love that. Let's do it. I'm yeah. down. Yeah, all the Ram Ranch movies. Well, I, well, actually, we might have to go to. Uh, I don't think you know about this. I I put in the group chat. I I beat Jay Schlatt in a video game. And uh, and he has to go on the podcast now. Oh, really? And he yeah, wants to do it fun. in Eamon Claw, Washington. Why? Eamon Claw, Washington is the site where Mr. Hands. D- do you know Mr. Hands? Like a is he a child? You no, know, oh, he, like a famous child. Molester. He's a famous horse have sexer. It's close. Oh, and he died having sex with horses. Horses are kind of the children of animals. So he he called me. <laughs> uh, I'm on. We're all children. Hold on, man. I'm, I I just realized what you said. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> wait. So wait, this um, is a popular guy. Why haven't I seen a biographics? Mr. Hands. Yeah. Human claw horse sex case. Enum claw. Hold on. Can you show me? <laughs> so, no, hold on. Computer. <laughs> it's like Plankton's wife. Computer. Where, show me. Enum where claw. where was show he? Me Mr. So it's like he, he went under the alias Mr. Hands. Where did he go under the alias? Is this like his E bombs world username? Like where? <laughs> that's what he. That's I what think the, so. he said I think, his name was to the horses. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a video uploaded and it was called Mr. Hands, and then the video was him getting owned by a horse. He's like, hey there, horsey, I'm Mr. Hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, I think maybe eventually a pod will need to be done there. Can we have a horse walking around in the background absentmindedly eating hay? We could go. The implication could... is kind of fucked. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are they going to or yeah. did they already? The implication is the horse. Is All right, guys. The... Episodes. Uh, yeah, horse still here. Episodes done. Uh, we're going to go handle <laughs> Yo, some business. Yo, hey, cheese. You're in for a bonus. Patreon. The bonus episode's crazy. <laughs> you guys ever been to Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> we could. Uh... We could get get a nice two for one. We could go visit my parents, and then we could go do the weird Mr. Mm. Hands episode. Yeah, <laughs> two two wholesome things. <laughs> Wait, why is uh was Jay Schlott like into this guy? He, we, I don't know. It's a thing that he's, he's a been bit of a, a pilgrimageer himself. He he likes pilgrimages, and he also <laughs> likes <laughs> <laughs> bro bars. <laughs> he also likes this dude's spit. Eamon Claw. He likes Mr. Hands. Eamon Claw. We need some white claws. Emin Claw. At the same time. Emin Claw. Um, Man. Wait, wait, wait. It was uh, when he smashed that bottle. Was it like a sugar bottle? Or was it, it was not a sugar one. It was a prop bottle, though. Okay, so it was it's supposed the... to shatter. Yes. Does that hurt at all when it Yes. Happens? I don't know. Really? We could, does Zipper, can you roll the tape of me getting smashed on the head of the bottle? So he had Where like. Where would he find it? It wasn't breakaway glass? It was. Oh, isn't that what you meant? Yeah, but well, I, I said sugar glass because it's like they make it out of sugar instead of sand or some shit. I don't know. I just some are sugar glass. Oh, I, I, I don't think this. But it was supposed to was. break on your head. Yeah. So he had he had like twenty prop bottles, uh, and and there was like a it, it, we were playing Jenga, and if you pull a card, whatever it says, you have to do. And one it said you die, and then for that one, he like he smashed the bottle. But the thing is, upon impact, it hurts. Okay. Because like you're swinging a bottle, it does break apart. And the and the glass shards oh, don't God. hit you, but oh. like that shit hurt. Like I I left the next day. Yeah, that's day. a real face. That's you a real do face. look like a pussy right now. And that's then, crazy. And then he goes to he get grabs me back up. Yeah, he's like, "Come here, fucker." <laughs> Finish. It's like the uh, the meme of the guy. Uh, yeah, there you go. What a great clip. I haven't seen. Dude, he this. looks so yeah. serious. It, Dude, that it, is so. I had good. seen this on YouTube. It was just a short, and it was just called Ludwig dies. <laughs> What a great clip. It's a sick I want clip. the wasted thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my clip channel's been popping off. I had a clip get uh, 12 million views in two days. Uh, what? Or three Jesus. days. What was it? Doing uh, what? It was, a, it was a clip of me reacting to Jay Schlatt banning all of the Minecrafters. Oh, that's uh, right. But I want it's you guys to play code. a fun game here and at home. How much money did that 12 million viewed clip I get? I have a question. Yes. How long was it? It was about like 50 60 seconds 
I think it made $2,500. $2,500 from Eamon? I think it made $10,000. I haven't looked. $10,000? I think it made like like $850. $850. So it got 12 million views. It was exactly one minute long. It got a total of, uh, let me see, $70.38. Uh, I, I wanted to guess that low because I know how this shit works, but I thought it couldn't be that low. Why? It's that low. It Why has is it that to low? be because it's a short, right? Yeah. They don't roll ads on shorts? It is, uh, I think, in part because it's a short. Um, oh, it's not a clip. It's not a clip. It's a short. Why did Shake do it that way? Well, because the shorts get more views. They get way more views, yeah. It would not have gotten It'll 12 funnel. million. It's, a, it's like the Amaranth funnel. You're yes. paying for the marketing. And then you go to mogul.tv and you see my butthole. And then you see well, Ludwig. That's where the sweet, real sweet money's at. South mouth. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's bleached. Mm -hmm. South mouth. My I've zipper invented that phrase. That. South I've, mouth? I've never heard South Mouth. You never that's, heard me and Zipper chopping crass. up talking about South Mouth? You ain't talking about South Mouth, you ain't talking. <laughs> like, it's like racist smash mouth. No, it's just boxing with your left butthole. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal in Smash Mouth. <laughs> South Mouth, it's a band. Jake, Jake they, The mic balls. is only through farts. The vocals is only Some farts. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I love Zipper giving us our 45, and then we have to start thinking about crypto, and then we don't. Yeah. Because we're still That's what I did, and I thought this about... One, I, thought, I literally thought corn. fuck Eamon again. Yeah. I thought it's fuck Eamon for fucking me. Corn. On crypto. Crypto. I didn't fuck you. Is crypto no. all a scam, dude? Is it all going down? Oh, I don't want to say anything for any potential sponsors in the future, even though we're not sponsored now. I will say, after watching that video, I'm I'm shaking. NFTs, they make me nervous. Yeah, they're super gay. <laughs> oh, okay, well, and I'll say it. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> and that I was did both. Say it. That was both progressive. We gotta cut. That, that was both one. progressive and incredibly not progressive. That's right. And that's, that's I'm what we, complex. That's what we need more of. That's what right. We, what if we just bleep it? And then we we put a worse word over the, <laughs> over the black bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that guy who uh, said that stuff about Zakuno, he called NFTs a slur. I don't know <laughs> what he was doing there. <laughs> Did you hear what Otto's making? Uh, something crazy. What's, it, what's he cooking what's up he now? Cook dude? What's that sweet so, little otter cooking like up? Like the Twitter announced the NFT profile picture thing. Otter, yeah. otter made it. And oh, then, that, yeah. And otter. then he made he's making it an extension called No FT yeah. that will block everybody. <laughs> Was the NFT profile picture, so funny. which is funny, but I literally hit him up. I was in a stream. I was like, "You can't do blog." He's like, "Why?" It's like my boss Fwiz from YouTube. How do YouTube gaming? Uh -oh. Obsessed with that shit. He's cringe. And so I'm like, "You gotta go. You gotta go mute option." It is kind of we have a cringe boss, right? It's something we can relate to Ludwig. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. You know? Huh? Were you guys talking about Fwiz? We have a cringe boss. Cringe no, boss. we you have, guys like, have our a cool employer, boss. the CEO cool of the company we work at. I had a crazy at. meeting with our boss this past week, what? by the way. Our cringe Nick boss? was there when this happened. Wait, what? We're, we went to dinner with somebody we're thinking about working with, right? And oh at, the end of the, at the end of the dinner, we're getting in the car to go home. Yingling and Sock also came to the dinner. So it's me, Yingling, Sock, Ludwig, and Nick is in the front seat. Ludwig is drunk. Uh -oh. Ludwig had a lot of cocktails uh -oh. at the dinner. Ludwig's off a few babies. And I, I would love to talk to Ludwig about what has just transpired and what he thinks will happen in the future. He's doing this. But I'm he's, saucing. He's in the back. I'm he's saucing. kind of saucing. Oh, I know the I waiter. This TJ, is his, I don't want to answer a question. I face. can't talk. TJ I, hooks me up. I can't talk to <laughs> Ludwig right now. I know that. But I want to know <laughs> Nick's opinion because it's you know it entails him as well. So I ask Nick a question about like what he thinks about the meeting. What do you think about the company's future? What do you think he can bring to the table? And Ludwig's trying to get involved in the back, but he just, he keeps just saying, he just keeps putting like random words together. He's like, <laughs> we're going to get this company back on track, guys. You don't know. Nothing can stop us after this one. All like, the way up. Just all this uh, bullshit. And I'm Q4. like, Ludwig, shut the fuck up so I can talk to Nick <laughs> about what we've just done. Green what chart emoji. Wait, why are you saying like we were in trouble? I don't know. Like you're what giving an like, influential speech I, to someone who's already winning. I think I was just spitting facts. He wasn't spitting nope. any facts. He was Rout just, he was facts just being saying. Spat. He was just. He was just listing off business words in the back while I'm trying to have a conversation with Nick. How drunk were you? Orgasm. He wasn't. <laughs> I had three drinks, and I think TJ, because I know the waiter, hooked me up and made him like doubles. So I might have had like five shots okay. over the course of like two hours. Okay. Which is enough for me. I don't drink very often. Yeah, you're a sweet little bear. Anyway, what did he say? What happened? I don't remember this. You, 
I thought I was nothing but a sweet, well, intelligent then, then boss. You kept trying to insert yourself into the conversation, but you're clearly not capable of articulating anything at the moment. So I finally cave because I'm mad. And I'm like, what do you have to say, Ludwig? Do you have a roadmap? Do you have a vision mm. after this? Mm. Because your opinion of all the things that we've talked about here, like, shapes the entire conversation, right? You're ultimately in charge of everything. And he's like, you know what? I you know hate. what? I think we have a... We've got a strong future. I what did he? He's like the company's got two pots, man. Oh the yeah, the company's I got talking two about pots. two pots. He's and like, it, he's I like in one that. pot. He's like, there's a Ludwig pot, and there's the not Ludwig pot. And I'm like, what are you fucking talking what? about? And he's uh, like, there's two pots. There's stuff with Ludwig with Ludwig in it that I do, and stuff that I'm that I don't do. And I'm like, <laughs> where does the merch company fall into this? And he's like, and he just ignores the question. Yeah, that's too hard to <laughs> it's figure. It's a out. tough one. It's a tough <laughs> one. <laughs> he's throwing me a curveball. Like, one of the three main pillars of his business, and he's like, he just, just can't decide it's a little, which pot it's a it goes both in. Both and both. It's you like know? asking a little kid, like, hey, what are things in the world? He's like, well, there's me, <laughs> and there's not me, and it's like. That's it. There's two pots. Like there's cookies and there's cartoons. I stand by this pot theorem, by yeah, the way. Yeah, and then I, I I say to him, all right, so what if me and Slime make a movie? What pot is that in? He goes, that doesn't make money. And I was like, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out, like, okay, a movie that makes money. Where does that fall? This is the argument, the <laughs> argument that ended up happening was like Nick, Nick postured an example just for the sake of categorizing it in a pot. He's like, say we make a movie in the next in the next couple years, which pot does that go into? And then Ludwig, instead of answering the question, he's like, you can't make it in a couple years. <laughs> and, and Nick is like, we True. definitely could. We no. definitely, he's like, oh, it's five at least. Yeah, and he, was saying like, we, he was saying we couldn't, know know he was saying we couldn't work on a time. movie in under five years and wouldn't accept my my opinion on the matter. Five out. What? Why five out? Producer tied up. Oh, shit. Other things going on. Oh, in the dude, I was so tilted hey, at this. Development hell. Yeah, I'm telling you that. Oh. Let's talk about pre-production. I hate. You know what I hate about this is because right now he's bantering with that under that bit, but in the moment he's like dead ass straight up. That's why you just got to distract him with like your keys or like. Yeah, uh, I, I, I should have held him out the fucking window. You're like, hey, you want to go get ice cream? Huh? He's like, dude, Whoa. I would have lost it if you brought me to ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sober now. <laughs> the you, two pot theorem, by like the way, that? makes sense because my idea and I can now recollect no, it soberly. It doesn't matter. It, you get every, it's a three camera idea. It's I, just things. I actually I actually <laughs> entertain this because I wanted to get to the bottom of the explanation. Not a bit of a three we spend camera the idea. next 15 minutes on the drive home. Like just I I keep asking him questions. I keep I'm trying to get to the bottom of the pot theorem, and I will say by the time we got to our exit, it did make sense to me. I got there. So it only took 15 minutes of drunk Ludwig losing in the too, back. You're too nice. You you shouldn't you shouldn't let him have that. Dude, from it, you. dude you know as me as a passenger, it was like Aiden talking in Valorant chat. Uh, I'm like, dude, can you just stop it's talking like, to him? Dude, just stop telling him how to play. He's just gonna call you like. He a knows bad he's word. fucking with you. Yeah. He's aware. You, yeah. you must have heard it. I lost it the other day in solo queue. You must have heard it. Uh, no. I got so fucking. Mad. I was playing with my little it. brother. I was playing with my little brother, and we were in solo queue. And this guy on on our team, it's me and my little brother are doing. There's two other people that are clearly a duo as well, and there's a fifth odd man out who loses it second round in the game he will not stop complaining about like uh one of the guys who like told him he shouldn't flash there or something and he keeps bringing it up and we're uh we near the end of the game and this guy has been shitty the entire time i i make one request of him finally like come over to like my site so you can help me hold this part that you've like been complaining about and he just says no <laughs> and and I, I, I I fucking scream at him. Really? I literally I literally just and he keeps calling me shit as I'm talking. <laughs> he's like he's like you're shit, your ass, your ass, your ass, your oh, shit. You're and I finally so and then I beat him out. I beat him out. I say I'm the worst player. I'm the worst player. And I chant I'm the worst player until he stops talking. And then, <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then I said, but think about this. I'm worse than you. I'm worse than you. You're better. I'm asking you for help, and I need you to help me because you are the better player and when i ask you the better <laughs> player for help you just said no and then he didn't say anything <laughs> wow he he thinks i'm he thinks i'm cool <laughs> and then and then, and then just i just and then i just fucking mic. muted him again i was so mad and the, this whole thing transpired over the course of two minutes during this time ethan my little brother also had to clutch while i'm screaming in his ear but i did not care about the game at that point or him did well, you win the game no, we lost. <laughs> oh. Dude, today, today I went and got coffee, and um, 
So I got I got coffee and I got a slice. And you know, I I had a, a nice little slice and some coffee. Hey, and while I'm waiting for my slice, I go across the street to grab some coffee. And um get a slice. <laughs> uh, that's how you order I, I walked up and I was and they're like are you from it and they're like ah mushrooms and pepperoni huh? <laughs> I see uh, and uh, the the barista at the coffee shop out of, kind of out of nowhere has not said a word to me before this uh, says do you play Valorant and I was like uh, yeah 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 I do and you're wearing your eat sleep Valorant repeat hat? <laughs> I'm just wearing this outfit it was today and, and she's like what rank are you and I told her my rank and she like thought it was cool and she said like, tell me what character she plays and all this stuff and I'm like this is so what a weird interaction and I was like we're just talking about Valorant for a little bit and then I leave and I leave and I've got this like big ego boost because someone thinks my in game rank is cool and I'm like oh that's pretty cool I'm like hey I'm good at a shooter game and I get in the car and I got my pizza in my lap and I open the box and the person who packed my pizza like pushed the box into the pizza so i open it but it, since i waited to get coffee it's like solidified mm, so the cheese it, so the box a bit. opens the oh. slice attached to the other slice lifts up out of the box it looks like a it, 90 year old woman's pussy. and i like <laughs> oh. i open it so aggressively so like both piece it brings both pieces up into the air it pulls them out of the box <laughs> one of them lands just straight on my lap and then the other one lands on top of my coffee mm. and, like, gets punctured by the straw. <laughs> and, and there's just red sauce all over my fucking car. And I'm like, fuck! I shouldn't have thought I was nice. This is the only reason that could have happened. Wait, what, what, it, why? It, Were you just sitting there just, like, smiling I, for ten minutes saying nothing? No, just in my head, I was like, oh, that was pretty cool. That's... And I get in my car, open the pizza, and it just fucking explodes all over But me. are you saying that if you weren't thinking you were nice, I was you saying it was been... karma. Oh, okay, okay. I was saying it's karma for me, like, That's right. thinking I'm nice. That's right. Doing your own That's riches. the life yeah. of uh, the average immortal Valorant player. <laughs> yeah, going They're all going the... Are you that. still immortal? Uh, I mean, I, I was, like, four seasons in a row, but... Well, okay, so you were, so you maintained it. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. would, I, I would log on my main. He's every got season, it in his delete. It, He's then... most certainly still immortal if he grinded on. Okay, yeah. I just because it's like I would say sometimes that. it's like yeah, I was PR'd back in. It's 06. not like I got it one season and just never played again. I, um, I maintained it for multiple okay. seasons. I started to pick up Valorant again, and are you, I'm. Are you, has your raise? I'm off. He, he, he hates it. No, like I hate it. I'm off. Like I don't like oh, it. Oh, you're off that I'm, shit. I'm out. But what about her? I was in. I was out. First game match MVP. All right. Second and third game not so great. Fourth game. Team MVP, all right. Other games, not so great. I had some hits and some misses, but I just really every second I'm playing, uh, I I hate it. If you guys don't know, by the way, Ludwig plays at a very low sensitivity, but he also plays on a mouse pad the size of a tarot. You can't card. turn okay, around. That changed. By it's the way. crazy. You just can't turn he around. He literally, it's different. like if you if no. you just hit him from a, a forty five degree, <laughs> a ninety degree. Angle, I watch. He's just like I watch Ludwig <laughs> check angles when he enters sites, and he. All right, so he doesn't. If he has left and right, he has to check both. He decides one of those I will not check. He checks right instead, but he doesn't look fully to the right. He just turns the screen enough to where he does see right. The and crosshair then he goes back, though is still. And he, he, it's like this. He goes, <laughs> and he goes back, <laughs> and I'm check. like, I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter if you see someone there, you're dead. Well, yeah. at least I cleared it so they won't kill all the four it was people also behind. Very funny because Ludwig was like, oh, I played Valorant again. I'm like, dude, you would hate new meta. Like, you would not like new Valorant. And he's like. Bro, I'm back. Match MVP. I was sick. I was top of leaderboard. I remember like, this. Oh, he was crazy. talking that good And then shit. literally the next day, he he's like, bro, I fucking hate new meta. And I'm I like, what happened? He's like, I just lost. I called him like, out. I hate I, you. That's what I said. I was like, I think you just don't like it because you're playing bad. Like, you're not doing well <laughs> and like you used to. And he's like, no. And I'm like, well, you were pretty pumped when you had that top frag in your first it game back. Because he kept that talking about, like, I played well, with Mango in the ball. Well, you're also top frag mistaking game something. <laughs> that first night I played was with Mango for Mango Ludwig Friday. Uh-huh. And it was the you can't be sober lobby. Okay. And I think that's part of why I enjoyed that evening. Because grenades, you don't need to aim them. Because even when I'm losing, I'm still not sober. And then the other nights, I was sober playing. And like it's like it's like a five sack with only friends. But like you know, you no one's like taking control for like being like the who where should we go on T side? And then everyone like has disagreements. I'm like I hate this part. I hate the part of sitting and then everyone's having a discussion on like. Yeah, what happened last yeah. round, and it's like, right. yeah. So you, what, you, what you're saying is, when you're yeah. fucked up, you're the real you. And when I'm fucked up, I'm the real me. That's what I was thinking. Dude, Aiden, Aiden played with Mango Stack and just had a hellish time. Yeah, and, I, I, I had like a miserable time the first time back with them. It's I funny because it's like, it's like me at blackjack. Like, I'm definitely never doing this again. And yeah. then it's like, <laughs> and, and then Mango it, DMs you, and he's like, "You want to play Valorant?" And you're like. <laughs> I said no. back in. I'll play. I said that night, the next night, I, I said yes to Albert, and then Albert was playing with Mango. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, it's tough. Hey, hey communicating, not easy. Um, we all know that. Uh, yesterday, I went to Vista. Uh, I drove down there. I, I'd never been to like Oceanside or Vista or anything around that area before. I've just always gone like all the way to San Diego or just like stayed in like LA. Um, and I was with uh, our friend Journey and we went to a cafe called the Yellow Deli. And this is from a recommendation uh, from Troy, the Mario Kart YouTuber. Sounds like a shock. And site. he's like, but <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Tro- Troy's lived like in parts of Southern California his entire life. So he always has like really cool recommendations for like what to do no matter where you're going. So that's why I hit him up about it. And we go to this cafe and it's like, it's really like quaint and calm. Seems like pretty cool. We go upstairs to like wait to get a table and there's like this like nice like tea bar. And uh, everybody we've talked to that's like staffing the restaurant is wearing like a button down shirt. Pretty much all the guys have their hair in a bun. It all kind of looks similar and they all kind of speak with the same like slow, kind cadence, but like with kind words, but not with like the authenticity behind them almost. He, they, they loaded cafe.exe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> was, like, was like, I like everybody it. Everybody was booting up from the same program. <laughs> and me and Journey are just like, we waited for our, we waited for our tea, we get our table. And I, I'm sitting down for like the first 10 minutes and something, it just feels so weird. Like something's off. And I, I tell her, I'm like, do you, do you feel like uncomfortable that we're here? Like, is something strange about this place? And she's like, yeah. Like, it's, and I'm like, it's like I'm in the fucking, uh, it's like I'm in Midsommar. Like, I, I feel <laughs> right. like after we eat, we're going to get taken out back and fucking killed. Right. And we, it, it, and there's like a weird mural with like this like a family of farmers on the wall and they're all like they're in the fields but they're all looking over and smiling <laughs> and they like all got like and really you kinda, and you kind of swear one of the eyes moved when you walked by yeah and they all have like 70 teeth it, yeah it, it, <laughs> it, it, it felt the big big teethy smiles on the on the mural and uh i message uh i message troy i was like we're still sitting down in the restaurant we finally get our food it's really good the food's amazing and i'm like Dude, this place seems like kind of weird. This it's it's like nice, but I'm I'm glad we checked it out. But is something is something off? And he's like, oh yeah, it's run by a cult. <laughs> yeah, dude, I what? I, I, I feel that it and and it is it is a it is owned and run by a Christian cult called the Twelve Tribes. Mm-hmm. And what the f- I did not where I thought this was. Going. I've seen it on TikTok actually. They talk about the Yellow yeah. Deli and how it's run by a cult. Yeah, and there's locations all over America and Australia. This is like a 20th century movement. These, uh, they, it's like vaguely like in presentation and lifestyle. I would say it's like vaguely similar to Amish people, but definitely a little more like ominous in practice. Like definitely like way more culty. You know, like f- the typical stuff like homophobic and like you know issues with beating the kids and stuff like that oh, the kids um, oh, but they're shit. but they're farming real nice you know and they operate wait, these wait, wait. delis how it's it, it's like this known yeah yeah this is Very super public. public and journey starts looking into it after we we both like go home and she sent me a youtube video that i like watch today it's really creepy man like it's 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 really weird and also there then she sends me a tiktok recently there was a fire in boulder that burned down 900 homes in boulder colorado and it started on the property of the cult <gasps> and it got out of the cult like property and burned down a bunch of other homes Ooh, and uh and apparently also person. they have rather liberal views about slavery and whether or not it's okay to in- bro but the breadsticks that's what i was saying you, <laughs> but you, the, you but i do want to round this Ruben out was good the sandwich was really good so th- <laughs> that's so weird. i mean that's just like probably how chick-fil-a started if you think about it in, it, in and out is it the, probably yeah well, it started as like diehard like christians you know incredibly conservative and and kind of pushing their values but then they made like really good chicken and then the corporate greed probably took over the occult part of it. Yeah, well, they're just like, hey, we think it'd be it'd be smart to let people work here that weren't white also. And some guy's like... <sighs> they're just sitting around. They're like, yeah, so Skin Wearer Joe makes a pretty good sandwich. <laughs> so we're thinking maybe we get this thing going. There's a, a lot of that. I went to a GTX. It's a tournament in Salt Lake City, yeah. which is like Mormon capital. And, uh, and I went to a, a restaurant there, and I felt similar-ish about that. And it's run by polygamists. 
How do you know that? Because because I because I looked up the place. I looked up the chain. Yeah, but it, that's like hey, it's like you know, it bur- pops up. Burger Town run by polygamists. It's literally like if you look up Burger Town, the like third thing is like polygamist town. Wow. It, and they and that's how they do. Do they have something called like the twelve titty sandwich? It, wow. Or it's, something. No, it's called it's called the five wife meatball sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do think it's interesting. Five wives <laughs> instead of five guys. Yeah, five, five wives, burgers and fries. That's tight. We should make that. Should make that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm seeing under the beef stew on the menu it says Carol <laughs> for four grand? What is this? Here's the thing, man. <laughs> if the fried chicken is good enough, it, anyone can go. run it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because it's so delicious to eat fried it chicken. It is so delicious, and food is just that important to us. Yeah. I mean, that's you, you're you down to go to Nippon Desk. Who knows what they're up to down there? They are wildly racist in Nippon Desk. Yakuza. That's... Age of Consent. It's all fucked it up, is bro. Thir- do you know it's 13? Wow, it's pretty low. Age of Consent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why every weeaboo I always look at a little bit sideways. Yeah. I'm like, why, right? Why you really want to fucking go, bro? I I will never, I will never forget my dad's revelation in in Tokyo. We were in uh, Akibara, and which is like the place in Tokyo where there's a lot of like gaming shops, weeb anime capital, shops, otaku culture, the weeb, the weeb capital of the world, really. And uh, I went with my dad because the first time I went to Japan, I just uh, he he had a trip there, and he was like, "Do you want to come with me for two days?" And I was like, "Yeah, that sounds sick." Um, so we go and we're checking that out because I I had wanted to go there for a long time just to just to check it out. And there's these posters. There's so many figurines and posters with like you know anime girls with their boobs out and shit like that. It's, it's not my dad. It's not my dad's environment, you know. Like it's it's pretty funny that my yeah, dad is there with freaking me. out. And he he <laughs> he kind of like taps me on the shoulder, and he's like, "Do you know what? Do you know what's like wrong with this?" And I was like, "Well, what? I want to hear my dad's explanation." He's just like, "They're just obviously all painted to be so young. Like that <laughs> is like." It, it's it, it is obviously pandering to some like form of like well, a Bebo or like pedophilia. Let me stop you there for a moment, Eamon, because you got me a gift for my birthday. Yeah, d- d- which was a figurine for my favorite anime. Okay, I did called look, Welcome I to the look. NHK. A character called Misaki. Oh yeah, because you forgot whether it was the guy or the and girl. And she's right? wearing her full outfit, and I open it up, the and box. you can remove it to make her nude. I didn't know this. I just bought the figure. Yeah. How old? she has a full outfit on. How old, How old is she? She has character? a full outfit. She's Not. about like fourteen. Oh, I did. <laughs> if you continue the story with his dad, it. it Continues for Aiden defending. The yeah, and then I'm, I, and then I'm like, well, hold up, Dad. I was like, shut up, Dad. And I was like, you don't get it. Most of these characters canonically are about <laughs> twenty to fifty years she old. She is actually eighteen, going on nineteen. But she doesn't look like that. She, I will. Admit. I wouldn't say pull up a picture. That's zipper, such a fucked up Misaki, little, welcome little to the doll. I, so it's like it's supposed to be. Is it like this is was, it like detailed? She, is she's like, like she's doll? like she's like wearing oh, clothes, and you can snap doll. it off, and then she's wearing a bra and panties. Doll. Oh god, she got him a little beat off no, doll. She got a little beat off doll for to beat his dick. Zipper's pulling it up. Oh, you asked Toe. Oh no! Stop! It doesn't look like that. That is literally the statue. That is literally the statue. I know you can snap it off. Take the clothes. That's what it looks like. It's not the same it's figure. It's the same statue. It's a different statue. Hey, I took it off. It's the oh. same one. Oh my God. Okay. You, so you're the pervert who no, took it off. No, I was you merely took it off. using you the thing that Aiden off. got me as a gift. a little tiny beat off doll? I did, it's not about beating off. <laughs> if you get really close to it, it looks like a big beat off doll. It's so big and you, and you can beat She's off. She's got like, neko, just, neko ears. I just wanted to buy you an exclusive Meow. thing from your favorite anime. It's and jerk I off time, even, everybody. You know what? Hey, let me show you my beat off doll. Zipper. What? what? There's you, no what? way, Zipper. Oh. What? <laughs> Dude, a- That's Aiden. Aiden in Italian face? That's Aiden, and uh, he's Waluigi. Wait, how did you get the photo? His parents sent me this. Really? Yeah. Dude, by the way, did not know he had personal contact with I didn't know at that. All. That's how I wanted. Does I didn't say know. what's not to like on your shirt? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, what's not to like? Dude, that is so Wow. <laughs> Look at you. You're a little cutie pie. That you got makeup's the, great. You got the nose. Wow. And is you, that Eamon? Why do you look so... You're wearing your hat like you're from Brooklyn. Yeah. Why do you look so... I think uh, what do you call Eamon, it? Like, embarrassed. In that photo? Yeah. I don't think I look embarrassed. You've Just shy. Again? He's a Sorry. shy guy. Emba- embarrassing. Sorry. Speaking, <laughs> you don't look happy. You look a little speaking, shy. Speaking of photos... <laughs> speaking of photos that are embarrassing... Yeah. I, I, got a, I got a random Facebook request yesterday 
from a person uh i didn't recognize her name at first and but i recognized her and i'm like why does she look familiar and i realized she's the sister of one of my best friends from elementary school and she went to the same uh the same elementary school i'm like that's kind of weird that like this is coming out of nowhere but i kind of had all these memories about me and her brother we uh we'd hung hang out a lot at school uh we used to play like club penguin he was super into like getting all the secret items in the shops and stuff and Beating then teaching the me penguins. how to do it. You get the gun. Beating off to the penguins, I'm sure. You get Evan, the, if you're the, listening to this, I didn't you ever go I, I don't the, think you beat off to the, the penguins, I'm sorry. In that game and just talk shit until someone challenges you. I like I never, going in and getting banned. That's what I was doing. I never played Club Penguin. I, I liked doing the little like menu glitch where you could like walk to one of the exits on the screen but go past it by like tabbing out in time and then you would tell people to come over to you. And then they couldn't get to your spot, and they would exit the room over and over again. Nice. <laughs> Club Penguin was like, it, it sounds like an introduction just to, like, fuck with people anonymously. Yeah, I, yeah. There was an iceberg you could go to in the game that's, like, way up there on the top right. And uh, if you go there, there'd be always be penguins on the edge of it saying, come help us tip the iceberg. Yeah. And it was like a, a meme to was, convince that new you could players t- that you could actually do it. That you could it. tip the iceberg, yeah. yeah. I got banned when I was 10 for saying penguin sex in the game. Mm. I remember that. That was only part of the sentence. The <laughs> yeah. of it was, no, it's just. Uh, damn, it I really want that. I, I think <laughs> how you are in Valorant was formed by who you were in Club Penguin. Is that? Is yeah, that, that's what it should look like, right? Yeah, but you yeah. couldn't actually. This could, is like this shop. Is you couldn't do this. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> that's like finding the Triforce in OOT. There's so much good shit. You could farm cart the the mine cart one and do all these like sick tricks in a row. I was hacking Club for, Penguin for when I was like ten. That shit was beefing for out like my igloo. money. Yeah, you get like currency and you can beef out your igloo. Like mm. <laughs> penguin crypto. Mm. Yeah, it was kind of like penguin crypto. Mm. Let your puffles starve. Anyway. anyway, Evan and me used to hang out a lot, and uh, I sent uh, I sent her a message. I was like, "That's uh, this is crazy." Just like made me remember all these things. Uh, because Evan, I, what I did is I went to check if Evan had a Facebook account, but he has one, but he clearly has not used it in like a very long time. So I told her, I was like, hey, if you could say hi, like just haven't said hi to him in a long time. And uh, I've actually met up with friends from elementary school before. Uh, so it, I just wanted to like check in. And then she sent me, she was like, uh, I I added you because I found all these old photos of you and like us and these other students back from elementary school. And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. Like someone has sent me like a different friend of mine from Illinois back then sent me one of those photos like not too long ago. It's really crazy like seeing like where people have gone and where, where they've been and stuff like that. She sends me the photos and they're all they're all normal. It's like birthday party photo, photos at school. But then there's one there's one photo. Not good. And it's not good. And it's <laughs> me. I, I want to be clear. I am 10 years old, but I am in, in some very culturally insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut the bullshit. He's true doing it up doing China face. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a bad. What? It's a, so what? What not, was the I'm context? I'm not doing the eyes, uh, but I have like I have like a I have like a hat on and like makeup on. I don't remember like the context. rice farmer hat. All I know, <laughs> all I know is this is this happened at school, and I'm with three other ten year old friends in the photo. In what is like if this is the photo that took Justin Trudeau down? Is this in but Canada? But it's me at in ten years old. Is no, this, this is in Illinois. Uh, okay. you're, yeah, you're like a little emperor. But I don't know what the context yeah. could be. And I will not post the photo because there, it's just too How consequential. How many patrons to show Eamon's racist No, I'm um, actually no <laughs> amount. Actually no amount. 20K, come the on. The only reason this is even like a, I would even joke about this is because I'm fucking 10. It happened at school. Like, it, it, Let me it hit you something. Obviously did not have any. Let me hit you with a hypo. Yeah, a hypo. Hey, we're at 15K patrons almost. We're at like 14,000, yeah. like six, 700. Hot mm-hmm. hypo. If we get to like 30K patrons... Just get that little picture of you tattooed on yourself. Look at <laughs> dude, no. <laughs> no. No, it's Oh, that's bad. me as a racist kid. It's a, it's dude, a, don't you like start that? Start with releasing the picture. Jesus. No, I'm jumping a tattoo and then you work <laughs> down. This is how it works His in politics. first tattoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're you're fr- you you could be buried yeah, you're wherever you want. That's kind of yeah, that's kind of cute. Yeah, that's great. I was telling these guys I was like, "You guys are fucked up, bro. I was literally a blinking. I yeah, had a little you, beard and shit. You were well. I saw like I, by the way, was doing that either. I was. You chill just too. grew up in that time. Sure, we Abe grew up Lincoln, in a ninety Lincoln didn't three percent white like state. Yeah, I know. So you were fucking being real bad. You can't even do blackface because you haven't seen a black person in New Hampshire. You wouldn't know. They're so ignorant. <laughs> you like mess it up. 
<laughs> you yeah, you're even like, know. what are the components of this pasta? <laughs> <laughs> I got, We're also Southern. Yeah, I was. I was literally Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, so you can. You little you, racist you, kids can I'm suck sure my ass. You are something you fucked up stilts? in his life. Or no, I did MMA the... like he used to. Well, do. yeah, the real woke Abraham Lincoln take is that he didn't free the slaves because he wanted to. It's because he had to. Yeah, Lyndon B. Johnson didn't want to sign the Civil Rights Act. He really do it's B. All, Johnson. It's huh? all fucked up, bro. It is Bad. all he, the way down. He was just like, I guess I'll do this. I don't. I'm tired. Which Bernie should have won. <laughs> you think Bernie and his beautiful pussy could have changed the world? He was, he was, he was alive his then, beautiful right? pussy can still win. Bernie, Bernie was alive. <laughs> Wait, I'm he kidding. was like in a mall interviewing people somewhere. when LBJ. Yeah, was like doing his thing. Was, yeah, he was alive as fuck. I made a joke and I actually realized it was true. <laughs> he's old as shit. Yeah. He's old as he was like thirty or forty. He's in his eighties. He was like the governor of Ver Burlington, Vermont. That's crazy. When LBJ was signing some shit, when LBJ was reluctantly signing the Civil Rights Movement, mm -hmm. all mad about it. Uh, what are we, what are we at here, Zip? I think we're just about, nay. He said, big no. I heard, <laughs> no. I'm only asking because I am chock yeah, full of you, urine you know and I might funny? pull an Eamon. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I'm, I'm like hey. so oh, full. it's so not funny if we do it the second I, I, time. I, 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 I'm not doing it out of humor. Right I just really need to pee. Yeah, but it's right just here, like, man. I'll do it in the corner. I won't do it on it. screen. This one will be an off one. If you need it. Oh. Just go to the bathroom. We'll, we'll you need no, 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 You know I don't have a cap on this, right? Yeah. So you have to get it down. We get, we'll also be able to smell it like a gas bomb. Wonder, it's crazy that this is happening in a second. <laughs> oh, come Dude, on. Dude, come on. I mean, I got to snag that. It's just, <laughs> I got to snag that. <laughs> you take his whole pants down. It's just his fucking Yeah, he's bare doing, ass. He's doing a little preschool piss. <laughs> where you roll up and you pull your pants. Dude, this and every time he does it, he uh, tightens his so butt funny. cheeks and he this, tries to act like he's so not. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's literally the end of the Blair Witch. Yeah, yeah so if that's... you're not already in the Patreon Discord, uh, I'll be posting this with a sensor on it very soon after this podcast. Why is your ass so dark in the middle? Well, it's a shadow, man. No, man. It's like you got a dirty I feel like ass. his ass is looking pretty good considering he doesn't do squats anymore. No, uh, I, I Ludwig's, think Ludwig's I, just got a good ass. No, no. I think his ass is washed. You think it's washed? I think his ass is a little washed Dude, are you right still now. going? He no, still it's frothy. Pisses. It's feeling frothy. It. He's feeling uh, it. Are you going to fill you, the bottle? Dude, this is so gross. No, yeah. it's not. It this is, is normal. Gross. This is normal I behavior. Bet, I bet it's a dark yellow on like, my clean, serene Your pee was really nice. Piss. I'd love to see him with some like Gatorade colored. Oh, what? you pee over there? Yeah, and it also does. I told, <laughs> you, I told you it doesn't have a cap. Oh, my God. It's so oh my God. Dude, why would you go to the brim? Just, just, just why would you go up. to the brim? Oh, why did you choose to pee more? Why not choose to pee less? Do you not have strong enough muscles why to stop? Why did you say no to the Chinese racist cosplay? This is the Ludwig. You're, you're being Ludwig. <laughs> this is, he just immediately what? changes the subject. That's right. That's well right. Done. I, and honestly, racism is worse than boy. peeing. So. I was a young boy. When I was. You were double digits. <laughs> 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 hey, that's the next Eamon song. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Look here, I think all is all will be forgotten if you eat this baseball. You put the baseball in your mouth and eat it and consume eat it. Eat it now. Eat, eat the that baseball what, and it will cure you Is that what Trudeau of did to get reelected? He no. just ate a baseball. He just got reelected like normal, but he yeah, still lives with his sins. But Canadians you, were just okay with it. You eat the baseball. It does blow my mind. Like that was supposed to be this huge scandal, and it's also something that people still strongly associate with him. But he still won re-election, and that's how uh, bad the opposing conservative party was. Yeah. That's how it goes. You know? It's like, if you're just a little better than the other person. Also, change sucks. Mm. People mm. don't like change. Yeah. yeah. So just keep it as is. And eat the baseball now. Eat the baseball I'm now. I'm not going to eat the baseball. Why? Coward. It's not. Like an apple. I saw an anime movie last night. You saw an anime movie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called well, Bell. I, I want to see if he's going to eat that. Baseball. He's not going to eat the baseball. He's motioning like he's going to eat the baseball. Could you fit it in your mouth? He couldn't. No, he couldn't. He couldn't get close. If I do it, I'll get Dude, a lock we, jaw. We found that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It also tastes Oh, you found like, this? Yeah, that's yeah. like a, a real, a actually used baseball. That's cool that I put that in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, you're cool, man. <laughs> anyway, Ludwig. An I watched movie. an anime movie last night called Bell, which is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Really visually is it stunning. An anime? It is an anime movie. Yeah, yeah. the Beast is actually it's a in, mech. It's in theaters, okay. and it's it's Japanese animation. Okay. Um, she, she pilots him, and they fall in love. And uh, and I watched it in the dub version, in oh, in English. That sucks. And uh, and I'm watching it. You're like fucking gaijins. And I'm realizing I'm like, damn, 
anime movies just have really cringy dialogue. Yeah. And it's bro. just yeah. it's softened by the blow of them oh. speaking Nippon des. Well, it also comes down to translation because, like, it's it's yeah. not that it's one to one. Sure, right? you're interpreting the vibe of a conversation. Yeah, and I... it can be down to like that person kind of not understanding. It Love does discover is anime is cringe <gasps> for the first time. I know. I, I was a little disheartened. It... It, it does suck that it was dubbed. You, yeah, you go. You travel all the way out of the house to see that shit. Well, I well I went with Cutie, and Cutie prefers I think dub normally. Oh, no. she's not so much of a sub reader. So if I watch it with her, I, I acquiesce. Can she? Can she read? I've never asked. <laughs> you know? I you've don't ne know you've yet. You've never asked? I've never asked if she could read. It's a bit of a Floyd situation. Yeah. You want to call her? To see, see if she can read? I really don't, You actually. don't want to do that? I don't want to do that. You don't think she would like to hear that question from She you? went through the ringer last night. We went to the hospital. Oh, I heard, yeah. Yeah. We went. I don't. Do you guys hear about this? I we don't went, know anything about this. She said. She said she went, but yeah. We went last night at three because she was like having chest pain, um, which is like scary because uh -huh. we all had COVID. I I went to the hospital when I had chest pain like a month ago. Yeah, we all had COVID, but it felt like, you know, you went through it, but it was like two, three day, and it's like I'm good, schmishmop. She's got the long COVID. Which is she, like yeah? You sound like stretchy someone, COVID. Sound yeah. Like someone's grandpa. Long. Yeah, uh, she got the long COVID. It's what she calls COVID. it. Not real. It's what but you call it? <laughs> whatever. I guess I think, she's got. I long think she's COVID. just making it up. <laughs> these kids are soft up. these days. Those, those fellas on the left think COVID's getting longer, <laughs> like physically. <laughs> so she got a she got a COVID rash. Uh, she goes into like an urgent care, gets steroids to fix it. And then she starts getting chest pain. We go in, like, we're there for, like, a few hours of the hospital. They do a great job, uh, you know, in terms of promptness. And uh, and it turns out the steroids the original doctor gave her was giving her chest pain. Yeah. And it, she's not even stronger. Yeah, I was going to say. And gave, she can't read. It gave her, it gave her back knee, too. <laughs> Come yeah. On. It's just all And her jumper's else. whack. And, <laughs> and she can't kick flip. Uh, yeah. So it's nothing It'd be but so else. funny if she comes home after taking some medication and just like, hey, what does this say? And you're like, <laughs> oh, words? <laughs> and she's like, Dog? is that, are those words? She like forgets how to yeah. read. The that COVID would, fog. That would yeah. suck. Yeah, Stop I, her. I've been, uh, I've been blind to Wordle the same way I'm blind to TikTok. I just decided to never open it. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. And I walked in the room while Aiden was doing one. And I was like, let, let Papa see what you're working on. And then we go and we, and we finished it together. Mm. And that sense of victory, I now understand. Oh. I yeah. push Aiden to Wordle when I see him. You guys are trendy guys. You I like trends. Wordle. Wordle's fun. I would not have done it if Ludwig hadn't. You guys are sweet little put it in I think you'd like Wordle. I don't know who you are. You I will don't know what it is. Is what you're trying to say? I do think huh? without you without that, Nick maybe. today, without Nick today, I would have never have gotten that word because I like when he said it, I was like, I we forgot. got to the last one. I, I forgot that was a word. Was, no. no. Oh, we yeah. can say it. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be three a few days, days later. past. You're yeah. fine. Oh, it's like a thing that everyone does. Yes, it's you know what you yeah. ever see on Twitter when people just post the green and yellow emoji boxes everywhere. Yeah, I've seen it. I just don't. That's just like everyone posting that is doing Wordle. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. popular. Uh, you know super, what? Super, super, super funny. I thought was a letteral, which is a real app, and you just it's the same game, but picture one one letter words and. You just guess until you guess the right letter. So you always have a 1 in 26 chance of winning. And then it lets you share your results the same <laughs> way. So you could post a single square. Dude, that's the puzzle equivalent of the app where you can drink a beer. <laughs> it's, like, it's like funny yeah. one time. Yeah. And then it's just megabytes yeah, it, on your it phone. It was funny. the one I, I did it the one day and I've never done it again. Yeah. It Imagine like, being a daily letteral oh, player. <laughs> just seeing you. Dude, you I hit the, the craziest T yesterday. <laughs> One in twenty six again. <laughs> I've been going with Y five days straight. Mix it up. Yeah, I think uh, that up. Otto's working on a Wordle one v one game. Really? Oh, which I think might change the world. He's just a creator. He's gonna he's gonna outgrow his shoes one day, and and that you're poor, you're his shoes. That you're poor boy's me? gonna leave. His my feet shoes are in your mouth, and that, he's wearing you like shoes. No. Like shoes, yeah. And he's walking around. No, and you're a he's shoe guy. locked. No, a he's shoe gonna guy. outgrow his shoes. Well, what's gonna happen is sometimes he just gets overclocked. So I have to like m mitigate him getting overclocked. You have to cool him down because he's just gonna burn out. You have to throw a bucket of water on. He's his. like my thirty ninety, and I'm like, come on, please, come on, slow we down. Gotta play well, maybe rust. not your thirty ninety. Fucking emulating Pokemon, not all the work it's putting in. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, that's 
it's a concern. It'll be what fine. do we do with Otto, man? He's going to invent, like, how do we stop Otto from inventing, like, defense We encase system? him in gel. You and, wanna... we, and we just we thaw him in 30 years. We're going to gel you up, Otto, so you don't make missiles. There's a 50-50 chance he goes to work for Northrum gunships. That's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. bro. He's going to make weapons that are really good. Good for him. Twitch-controlled oh. drone strikes. What? What if we started a nation and then Otto could uh -huh. be our nation builder for defense I don't weapons? think he goes that far. But he loves you, and that's how we get him. That's how we keep him. We say, Otto, we're starting a country, and we need defense mechanisms. He's like, yeah, I need, like, Three days. <laughs> Otto, Otto, do you know about sovereign citizenship? <laughs> Let's get into mogul merch 3D printed guns. <laughs> All right. That's, I don't know if I ever said this before, but it was uh, Smash Summit 8. I had this running <laughs> joke where it, we would pitch merch. Every week we'd have a merch meeting to get the merch together, all this shit, see where we're at. And every time I'd be like, oh, I got it, I got it. And it'd be just this, like, slow build up. It'd be like, the Smash Summit 8 gun. The gun. The and, Smash uh, Summit hand It was gun. funny the first time. And then by the like the ninth time, the only person that was laughing was Ken. <laughs> Dude, I was always laughing at the gun. Really? Yeah, I always thought no, the maybe, gun was funny. Maybe Ken didn't laugh. That was always the difference between me and Ken. It's like some shit I thought was so funny, and he'd be like, <laughs> what does that mean? He doesn't homie you a chuckle? You know, cause, no, cause what Ken will, never. Because what Ken will never. do is he'll be like, we can't make a gun. Yeah. Like, he'll take like, you seriously. Dude, I know we can't make and a gun. And he's like, I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> and you're like, ah! God damn him. Get owned over God and over. damn that guy. So what else did you guys do, bro? How have you been living, dude? Fucking, bro. Right. I I did the I did the Jenga thing. I did a shoot we can't talk about. Yeah. A chit. We did a little chit can't talk about. I will say, <laughs> I found out something about Nick. It what? is important for Nick to be right. His, his. Oh yeah. Oh my God. No. 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 I won't accept this. I wasn't gonna talk about Zipper this. Zipper two. I wasn't. Zipper two just heard this and she's she's sitting at home. She's like, uh, dude, I would not. I was not gonna bring this up. It, uh oh, dude, you would be losing your fucking mind. Is it this beef time in the yard time you now? Would, hey, I don't it's know. It's bean time <laughs> in the yarm. You would be losing your mind. How about we do this? Zipper, pull up a map. Pull up a map of Los Angeles and, oh. and let me see. No, like, no, no, no. This, this is a This part doesn't matter. Thing? This part doesn't matter. Let me see I know West it, LA. Their answer, no. The problem is you can't start with this because then they're going to think it matters and it fucking doesn't. Let me That's see West smart. LA. Let me zoom in Dude, here. He's just, now Zipper doesn't know what to do. No, don't pull a fucking map. Yeah, let yeah, me yeah. Tell what does God. Zipper do? Who's this real here, dad? You know what? Let me tell. Oh, he, okay. Let, let me tell. No, 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 no. Let me tell the story and you guys can decide if the map matters. So we are sitting in a, a living room all together and me, Stans, and Ludwig. And, and, and Stans is trying to describe from the location, I don't want to say exactly where, but the location that we are at, which we'll say after, the location that we are, where it is in relation to Burbank. And I said, oh, Burbank is north. And then he goes, no, it's east. And I said, no, it's not. It's it's above us. It's that way. And he's like, no, it's east. Stans is saying this. Stans is saying this. And I'm like, maybe it's like you you have to go slightly east to get there, but it's way more up than it is to the right on a fucking mm -hmm. map. So we pull out a map, and then he sees it, and he goes, yeah, it's northeast. The only part of the conversation Ludwig hears. And then, and then I go, no, no, no. You did not say northeast. You said it was east. That's right. And looking on the map, it is so fucking clearly barely east of our location. That's right. It's way more up. And then Ludwig goes, I heard northeast. Because he only heard the second part of the conversation. And I said, I heard that's it all. not what he said. And then Stans goes, that's what I said the whole time. And I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> that's not what you fucking said. I'm like, I, I'm not, I am in no, I'm 100% certain in what he said. There's no shred of a doubt that he said. I wouldn't have brought this up. If you he said Northeast, I'd be like, yeah, because I fucking know where it is. And then Ludwig just goes, no, 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 Nick, Nick's right. He's got to be right here. I, he just, he's got to be right. I said, oh. I think it's important for Nick to be right, so I'm with him. It's oh, so good. You're such a It's prick. so good to be on the other side Dude, of this. I'm oh. like, I'm like, no, fuck you. I just am right. I think I heard <laughs> what I heard, but I think Nick has this thing where he oh, he's dude. really uh, prideful of his memory. It's the no, it's, like, the, oh, it's just the only way that you end that interaction winning is by saying that instead of being wrong. <laughs> I think Nick is really prideful of, of his memory and like how he remembers exactly what words were said. But I was pretty in the conversation, no, and he I was thought not. I no, heard he was that. Not. <laughs> But you know, Nick's very proud it's of like his when memory, Ludwig, so I'm not going to win this This is one. the fucking guy who literally told us we should not make multiple companies, and then later was like, yeah, we should uh, make multiple oh, companies. That, that was, was unbelievable. It was, that was, it was that the was same. Unbelievable. It was the same thing. That was unreal. It was the same did thing. That. Did we I talk about that? that was the same. You also, also the Slack thing, it was just like, yeah, it's in the Slack, and you're like, what? 
Like you, like you got told like some bad news. Wait, first of all, I was I I'm just saying in the conversation that I was listening to what I heard. Yeah, but the, the, what no, we're but saying. No, my point is your recollection is that you were in the whole conversation, which so, is wrong. But the, but I also have a contingency, which is stands. So you're also saying stands was then lying about what he had just said. Yeah, yeah but stands so, would nibble on your nutsack if he wanted also, to. Also, stands is the guy in the situation. for you. Stands is the guy no, in the situation I, who is passionately arguing something and wrong. So of course he's like, no, I said north. Stands also hit him with the yeah, you're right. After a while, uh, no, wait, no, it, he it never gave me no. He never gave me shit because Nick is right. Nick is just right. I'm He's in just Nick's like dead ass right. Well, yeah, because Nick it's wanted, also so dumb. No, not because I want anything. I the information was, I said was true. Nick, I think it was important that you framed this conversation. I try to frame it a different way. You cut me off. <laughs> the reason why it's it important, important I frame it is because it. you are framing it wrong. I, ha I think you have to understand we all frame it from our own, from our own worldview. Yeah, yeah. Yours, so no, my no, worldview is just wrong. Our world directions are not a worldview. No, no, no. <laughs> it's just the way it the is. It's stand <laughs> say east is okay. his worldview. Me and Stan's worldview is oh, different just, than Nick's. I'm so happy you're yeah, hearing Ludwig say this. There's a I'm reality so you get to. Uh, there's reality though, and what actually happened. Yeah, but why? If Nick, you don't just get to say, you don't get to correct what happened in the past. Yeah, I agree. This is the same thing as the meeting. This is this. What happened is I heard Stan say, "Oh, it's more northeast," and then <laughs> no Nick is. Way. It's very, very adamant that it. Yeah, was, but th th you're not acknowledging that there was a conversation before this. I think I was in the whole conversation. No, he he's saying I wasn't in the conversation. Dude, he's just this like whole scarred. thing started. This is what Scar Dude, does. We're, we are fucking like, we're, pull up a fucking map. We are literally under. We are under it. And I'm like, no, it's not east. East is like fucking Covina. Like Covina's to the east. That is not where we are. And he's like, no, it's east. I wouldn't care about this if he said northeast. Because I'm like, yeah, sure. It's, it, <laughs> he's it heated is, about it this. Is kind of, it, it is kind of. It is. East. It is crazy how you're owned. You're never owned. Because you're just like, ah, shoo, boo, buddy, boo, buddy, boo. And also, you're right, but also being owned, but also stands is wrong, but like cares I, I cared, so much. I cared so little about being right until I was told it's all I fucking care about. Because <laughs> I was right. And I was like, no, it's not that I care about being right. He it's just that was. I am. He just and, was. And the goalpost is being shifted. I think it's important for him to be right here, guys. Uh, let's yeah. give it to him. This fucking backfire on you, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's give it to him, guys. This, we don't I'm, I'm so happy you brought it we up. We, we, on this. we never talked about that meeting. The, the meeting where we, we have a big, we have a company meeting. We're all together. We're talking about the future of like everything we're working on. I got my whiteboard. Right? Mm -hmm. Anthony has a whiteboard Maybe out. one of the only meetings we bring a place to inscribe what we say. Yeah. <laughs> the whiteboard's still up. And, and yeah, the it's still subject, up and unerased. The subject of making the yard a company, the, specifically the podcast a company in itself, uh, comes up because it, it was currently structured as uh, something that was under Mogul Moves, which is Ludwig's like overarching company, right? And we're, we're talking about this, and Ludwig is very insistent that we should keep it... Uh, not we should not make the yard a company for reasons for, unimportant for yeah. ex, yeah, for do ex not reasons, change right? uh, uh, not that part isn't important and we're all we all slowly uh, we push back a little bit we get the reasons we talk it out and we agree that okay this perspective makes sense two weeks later <laughs> we are all in the kitchen Dude, it was fucked up it we're was all in the up. kitchen and Ludwig was like, so, yeah, we got to get on turning the yard into a company because, like, for, for these reasons. And we all look at each other, like, yeah. and I, I, yeah. I said to Ludwig, I was like, what are you talking about? You said you wanted the exact opposite when we had the meeting two weeks ago. No, I don't remember saying He's that. He's like, no, I didn't. Dude, it's insane. <laughs> it, I literally think you have a disability. <laughs> or or the, 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 the more sad part is that you just don't care when you talk to us. No, I like, think it's like I, talk, it can't be, I like, talk a lot in my head. Yes, mostly, and then I and then I don't remember what I've said out loud and what I've said in my head. I think he forms conclusions in his head that become reality <laughs> as soon as he draws the conclusion in his head. <laughs> and he's just and, like, and he's but like, he yes. forgets that those things need to be communicated to people to for, for them to understand the new conclusion. Because the thing that blew my mind is that you were so insistent that. That was never the agreed upon thing. Meanwhile, we're all telling you that we not not this wasn't some flippant thing that you said a sentence about. We had a 15 plus minute conversation solely about the fact that you didn't want it to become a company. Yeah. And that was the only mm. purpose of the conversation. <laughs> and then yeah, not we two weeks later, you were adamantly backing the exact opposite now, of what now you asked imagine before. The three of us weren't there. Well, this is a conversation between you uh, and Ludwig. 
And when he recounts it, he goes, I didn't say that. Yeah. Now yeah. what, Aiden? Because now what do you fucking do? The whole reason we win. Wait, we what is win that a relation to? Because that's what you fucking do to right me. Right now. Right now. If it's one on one, you. <laughs> I didn't do that. It's like, we're talking about what Santa like says, when not what Fox I said. News, it's like when Fox News plays climate change as both sides have it equal. <laughs> and they bring on some guy and some scientist, and they're like, this is a 50 50 issue. Look. Viewers That's at you. home, you got You're two Fox sides. News. <laughs> you can either stick with me, or you, you can stick with the racist. Yeah, hey, that's, 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 Ludwig, that's Ludwig Bucket, right. not Ludwig Bucket. He's on, Murdoch's pick here. he's on Murdoch's payroll in my home, being paid. Am to I gas really Fox News? If you're the one doing China Face, let's just think about it. Oh, oh, how does it? How does it make you feel? I'm Jerry Springer now. How does it make you feel when he says that about you? About mm. my when conversational skills. That you. Yes. That you are like that. Even, what, even how yesterday. does it make you feel? Even yesterday, this is in the conversation of scheduling the podcast. You finally reply a, like a day later, and you say, "I'm doing to do 2:30 p.m." <laughs> well, it was and just I a, have to. It was a I, I have to interpret that. No, because okay. it could mean. What are you fucking? The okay. sentence well, could yeah, be. Well, why don't you look, just type it right? The sentence could be. Because I'm doing this instead at 2:30 p.m. It could be I'm down to do 2:30 p.m. It could equally be two completely opposite Feels things. And all you had to do, time. all you had to do was correct one word in the I sentence, didn't see Ludwig. It. All Ludwig, you had to do was question. look at what you typed. Okay. So. Amen. You could just reply and be like, you wrote doing. What does that no, mean? He, no, and then he you would take another day. And then, and then, then you would take cocksucker. I did. I did. He and you did didn't reply. That. I did. And you I've didn't reply. I've been slack on. You guys are dogging me. I've been that I've been But what you're saying he should do, he did, and you didn't read it. I've been slack on recently. No, no, no. Hey, I know. You've been Slack God. You've been Slack God, man. Answer what I just said. He said you told, what you, you told just him, told you him, told him to, to do, do something, but that's what he did do. And he did do that. But that wasn't No, the that's not what happened. He said, assume down here is down. He didn't say didn't what say did anything. you mean. You didn't say anything in reply. You didn't reply you didn't at all. He said you didn't so much no, 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 no. And then we just no, no. showed up today hoping that my assumption was okay, the correct I will, thing. Okay. Uh, when, when, he, I, when he says that, how does it make you feel? When he said, so let's do 2.30, I was like, he got it. 2.30. Easy class. Okay, so that's different from moment. what you just said, which was he didn't do it. He didn't say. I'm saying if you want a clarification, he could have been like, "Did you?" I hope you. I hope you spill the pee on the way down. I hope you spill it all <laughs> oh, over yourself. Not the pee, bro. It, well, that would just. Be I don't a mess. care, you broke when, your elbow, when bro. When you when you type s stupid words uh -huh. that aren't <laughs> words, and you make us feel as if our time isn't worth two fucking seconds. Is that because you just like aren't looking? I think it's just like literally. Like, I, are you above? Uh, Typing it out and being like, "Got it." I'm gonna beat him. I to use this. swipe. I'm gonna beat oh, him. Are you to swiped? This. He him? called a friend of his from from back home. Called him in the car to ask him about a trip that Ludwig has to book for those friends that I'm also gonna go on. And that on the phone call, TFTI. This this friend Zach realized, like through this conversation, Zach points out that Ludwig has always been this way for the entire 20 years that they have known him. Right, so I think it's dead ass a disability. I answered ring one though. He did do that. He brags about the phone calls. You call, I answer. Let let me. Can I <laughs> listen? Hey, hey, that's my dog though. It's ninety minutes. This is my pee hand. We we've been we've been uh, we've had a great. Day he just made you so mad five minutes ago. And you did that. I don't know. Yeah, you're he, so but easy. He's my friend. <laughs> I get over listen, it. Listen, <laughs> we love you, but when you talk to us like you do. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, what's happening to you? This is the mob. I'm, I'm, you went from Jerry Springer to like mob. I'm Jerry boss. Springer. What you do <laughs> when you talk to us? You know, <laughs> hey, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys like a tip. That. No, no, no. Fuck you. You don't give us tips because we're tip, the ones dude? that are always frustrated. I know this will help your frustration. But it's something you're okay. If it's something we have to do, that's not fair. I think <laughs> <laughs> your accent Walk is losing it. <laughs> You guys insist on communicating through messages, which is my worst form of communication and my most requested form of communication. About, like, I would say 50 a day. So it's the most difficult to keep up with phone calls I'm godlike at. I don't think I've ever... You okay. can't point to phone calls missed. Huge problem with phone calls. Huge problem with phone calls. You are a streamer, and you happen to be live for six plus hours at a time somewhat frequently. It's also redundant. Categorically because false. Because then the information needs to be turned into that. text rather than it starting as text. Because if we call you, get info. No and matter we, and what, we all we need, need to, to write know down it. What then we have to write it in the chat and say, "I called Ludwig. He said this," and that's redundant. There's situations where I think calls are uh, totally fine. Yeah, if I specifically need something that I don't need to know, sure. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm also going to make a bold claim here because mm -hmm. I think we actually have a similar issue 
and I'm pretty sure I get more messages per day than you do. I'm you pretty get, sure. Uh, more messages. I get more useful messages. No, you just I, have open DMs, so a lot. No, of them no, no. Are dumb. I'm not talking about my message requests. I'm talking about my my Discord DMs, yeah, no and shot. this is not from strangers. No I'm talking for for work purposes and like Smash community work purposes, like things things like that. I am. I am positive I get more of those per day than you do, and I struggle with the same things you I'm do. I'm saying no but shot. But I have to overcome it. I don't pe tell people to call me. I'm like, I have if to buckle within, down and If it's and within these. five people, the number is negligible. We'll find out in the bonus episode. We'll count up. We'll count. Hey, past 24 our, hour messages. Right. We'll find out. You guys will pull out your red numbers, but we just want to say, Ludwig, we love you. And we just want I do you. love you. We, we, I love you like you love Carl Jacobs, like that level. Mm. <laughs> it's like I'm on there with you. Look, guys, I don't mind because at any moment, this whole company could crash and burn. Yeah. And we'd still be dogs. <laughs> and when, it, when, that, when that happens, it's me and Carl. <laughs> 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 All the way through, baby. Yo, Carl. I go to him. What's that beast shit going on? All right, Hit guys. Hey, episode 30 in the books. 29. 29. Uh, episode 30 in the books next week. Barely <laughs> legal. Uh, also, wait, we didn't shout this out at all. What has happened? We're supposed to do a merch plug. How about you plug you? my butthole with no, your... No, it's a yard merch. We'll do, it, we'll do it. We're supposed I to think this next one. week. Next we want to do it next week, yeah. Well, next week is when it... It's not available right now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Why yeah. would we plug something that you can't buy? Because... Hey, I'm wearing one of the well, items I'll tell right you guys now. after. We already discussed this all, but anyway... Thanks for watching. You can do a separate merch plug. Peace. Bye!